Nada. Hey, I'm. You know what? I was coming in here earlier, and then I see it just jumps off my phone. Eric Armstead released by forty. What? No, man, somebody stop playing, yo. <laughs> ah! It's real! It's real! Although it seems the 49ers didn't release Eric, apparently they may have, from what I kept digging, apparently what they may have PO'd him about is the fact they said, you got to take a pay cut. And I said, I ain't taking no pay cut, y'all. Well, Eric, we got to have to do something, man. Well, how many games do you play a year now? And we don't know when that foot's gonna play, that leg and foot's gonna act up again. Come on now. And he said, no, I'll take a release. This is my own summation. I don't know. It seems like it may be the case that Eric Armstead has left under not so nice a situation here. God, nine years. There's a, you know, there'll be, the truth will come out at some point. Um, cause I can't see all of a sudden out of nowhere. Well, and then you, you figure the 49ers may have initiated it. It makes more sense for the 49ers to have asked Eric, can we get you to take a pay cut? Cause restructuring this point, how many times has, has Eric restructured? At least two or three, right? Maybe two. Oh man. Then I know what you're doing. I've seen some naughty thoughts already online and. Some people say, well, now we can go get, well, now we can go get. Shame on you. Stop it. That's why, you know, and in fact, I had something else prepared for today, and I'm reading this. I say, oh, my God. What's that? I'm making myself crazy. I'm getting dry mouth, and I know I wasn't smoking anything. But, um, but fam, now you see the photo says, who stays and who goes, right? 49ers have a league-leading 11 picks for the 2024 draft. The departing B-listers, Eric Armstead is not a B-lister. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me get back on topic here for a minute. The Niners have to be on top of the list of planning and organizing in the NFL period. They do a great job of it. we got geniuses behind the lines like Parag Marafi to make sure the numbers fit and keep the 49ers afloat and make sure that with the exception of D. Ford, of course, make sure that none of the players actually have the ups on the 49ers when come push comes to shove. I think we – did we finally, finally finish paying D. Ford at least a year ago maybe? But anyway, man, our, our San Francisco 49ers are predicted to be one of the clubs with the highest funding to stabilize the Super Bowl caliber roster. And now it's even more so. I don't want to laugh, but I just, I'm just so shocked about Eric. I just can't believe it. <laughs> Big show. Eric has had enough of the banana hand. <laughs> I thought about that, Big Show. I said, Eric said, man, we ain't going to never win nothing around here. Man, you know what y'all want to save somebody? Just get rid Let me go. I don't want Big Show, stop. Stop it. Anyway, the front, front office also has enough valuable draft picks to do some special things in this upcoming draft. Uh, I want to know what you think you might do with those. Uh, there will be a need to shed a number of players that could ease the stress. And amazingly, when I wrote this up, uh, I wasn't thinking about Eric saying, I'm, I'm out of here, y'all. Uh, there will be a number of players, as I mentioned, could ease the stress on the payroll this season as the Niners adhere to their policy of, of keeping the A-listers only and excusing those who fall below that list as it is defined by the staff. I have going on the phones and putting you in the 49ers GM chair. Now you got some decisions to make and some things to do, and you got to hurry up. Wednesday's coming up before you know it. For what you would do with the 11 total draft picks. Also, who stays and who do you expect to say goodbye from this 49er roster? Hey, shout out to my boy. Hey, hey, hey you know, I, I'm a, I, I. I'm not going to mention his name because i got to get back to it. It's embarrassing. I, I'll, I'll tell you more about that. But this jacket is courtesy of a good friend of mine that I have not been right to. All right? He knows who he is. I'll get back to you shortly. Anyway, um, fam, few teams have, have been as aggressive uh, with their spending in recent years as the Niners. Remember, we were getting on Jed York. Jed York, that cheap bleep, bleep, bleep. He ain't spending no money, man. Bleep, bleep him. And you, see, what we was doing... 
<sighs> we just didn't know what we were talking about. I wasn't in that conversation because I didn't really know, understand why Jed didn't do what he, you know. I didn't know what Jed was doing. I didn't know why he did what he did. I mean, I just sort of like leaned back and watched it because I could not believe that Jed York, the nephew of a very, very prestigious 49er from the past, would be coming in dragging ass. I just didn't believe it. Now we're finding out, no, he doesn't. No, he really doesn't. Uh, since the end of the 2020 season, they've signed Trent Williams, D. Bo Samuel, Nick Bosa, George Kittle, Fred Warner, J. Von Hargrave to deals worth at least $15 million annually. At least that's the minimum amount. There's more. York is no cheapskate, man. Not by a long shot. Um, the deals for Williams, Bosa, Kittle, and Warner made them the highest paid players at the position when they did, they did make those deals. They also acquired the CMC, and I'm not talking about the truck. I'm talking about the machine, yes. Chris McCaffrey was an average salary of 16 mil. Chavarius Board. Mooney's free agent contract after the 2021 season pays him 13.5. And I ain't talking about that. I'm not talking thousands either. <laughs> Those names are designated in bona fide Niner A listers, baby. And it's great for the Niners to spend money to keep the nuclear Lucas Silva roster that has been to two Super Bowls and four NFC Championship games in five seasons, isn't it? Isn't it special? I know we, was, we didn't put the, the icing on top of that cake. But, boy, a lot of people have suffered in the wrath of the 49ers. Everybody not named Kansas City Chiefs. You know Chris, Chris Jones just signed with the Chiefs again, don't you? So, I don't... The NFC West has now got a little tougher than it was last year. Now, next year we can look for uh, stout competition from teams like the Lions. I look for the Falcons to come up from that gutter they've been in. Um, and I look for them to come up hard, too. Uh, Saints, I don't think so. Uh, Packers, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Ooh, the Packers. Packers and Lions fan, but boy, we don't we don't come hunting for bear next year. We'll be looking like the Rams. Um, but the realities of the salary cap league are catching up, fam. Uh, the Niners are currently twenty eight twenty eighty five thousand twenty eighty one dollars over the cap, with free agency set to begin on this coming Wednesday. The cap ca situation and all of those big contracts are why BA, who is in the final season of his rookie deal, has been talked about as a potential trade candidate. Of course, none of us want to watch that conversation or get involved in it or even talk about it. Stop saying it, right? That's the number one receiver we got as far as technique, style, and skills. Ian Rapport is quoted saying the Niners expected to work an extension for Ayuk after free agency. <laughs> I wish they would stop doing that. I really do. Damn it, Niners. Why do you always have to do that? But I see, I see that Daniel Hunter, man. I'm telling you, but you know what? See this, this Eric Eric money being released just what he did is I love me some Eric. Make no mistake, I don't want to see him go, but look at the oh that low ah. Okay, let's not get excited. The 49ers were gonna make a big play anyway. I don't know who it was gonna be, but you bring me some Daniel Hunter to this team and put him next to Dick Bosa, it's all over but the shout. You can phone in several games every week. But, fam, they'll jockey around the lack of funding somehow, as it might have been, and get it done. Most likely as the team continues to kick the cash can down the road with their contingent salary restrictions. Now, when Eric's release of that money, is, is there no – I kept looking for a dead cap issue. There is none, apparently. I kept looking. Well, the 49ers have to get to the Super Bowl, fam. This is why they've been playing uh, – I mean <laughs> – this is why they've been battling all these years to keep that roster stout. They could have cut back and take a break for at least a year. They never have. And I'm worried about that as far as those long seasons for four or five years like that taking its toll on this, this roster. Uh, that's why the youngins got it. <laughs> Them youngins we had sitting down. Oh, they're going to see some action this year. Somebody, hey, 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 Bill, Drake, Jackson, y'all got to get ready, man. Because uh, I, I do need an edge rusher, but come on, man. You, you just draft, you get your butt in here, man. Let's go. Also, you got to get better because if you're not, you're getting worse, right? We all would like to agree that the old line needs to be administered to, fam, but I do want that to be the case. 
But three DEs, including Chase Young, Randy Gregor, and Cleveland Farrell, are most likely going to be on the free agent market. I don't think Farrell will, though, for some reason. It depends on his injuries doing. For PFF, the trio totals 74 pressures, 11 sacks, 17 hits, and 46 hurries. Well, maybe Cleveland might be because Cleveland stops a run. I don't think Beal and Jackson, I don't think that's their strong suit. Now let's address the edge position and spend some money to get Nick Bosa the proper complimentary piece on you know, opposing his side. I know, man. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I know, I know, I know. We, those of us who go through the dailies, like I do, I seen that thing with Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa. Been, uh, man, Chargers just running a fire sale, lightweight win anyway. <laughs> okay, I already posted up on uh, social media. Khalil or Joey? Now, you know Joey would make Nick. His brother would be delighted, and Joey might come to 49ers and play real inspired football. And he might decide, look, you guys, I know your situation here. I'm, uh, I got money enough to pay you guys. Listen, if you want, give me a team-friendly deal, work it out, and I'll come on over. Uh, I don't know about Khalil may not feel that way, though. <laughs> There's no brotherly love. Ah, the, the, the drama in the offseason is underway. That Bryce Huff, 25 years old, 6'3", 255. Don't know why the Jets are letting him walk. He's out there. And 2023 Huff stats included 67 total pressures. That's only seven less than Gregory Farrell and Young combined. Huff had 10 sacks, 12 hits, and 45 hurries, 15 total tackles, 16 stops, and most importantly, only one missed tackle. How bad. I, I, I really hate missed tackles. Damn. I, I mean, you know how Gordon Ramsay hates raw meat by his, by his people in the kitchen? I hate missed tackles as bad as he hates that raw meat. Uh, PFL projects Huff to earn a three-year deal worth $50 million and $35 million guaranteed since the 49ers struggled to get to the quarterback in 2023. Huff would help fix that problem <laughs> right quick. And I don't know if he'd cost as much as Khalil. And Wayne Breeze is a good, good find. Uh, I don't know if as much he'd call as much as Khalil and Joey. Seems like the Eagles, are, man, are all over Huff, though. So it could be. You still have to, you might have to lenny up the cash. But the Niners still have vi a viable possibility, affordable options out there. Uh, despite the conversations, the Niners might uh, look to subtract from their roster after spending big money. Uh, and free agency over the past two years. John Lynch isn't talking like a broke GM for it by any stretch of the imagination. Lynch told reporters about the team's offseason approach saying, quote, <clears throat> I want to go after it every year. I know that's the way we roll. That's the way we think. At some point, you've got to have some years you take off and you kind of sit on your hands and still be creative as to, as to how to improve your team. But we're always about improving our team. I think we have an opportunity to do that, unquote. John, man, what are, you, what are you talking about? John, what are you talking about? Something's going to happen. I already, I, I, I already feel it. Something's going to happen. Like last year when Javon came flying in on the report. What? How much? Really? I couldn't get over it. 49 somehow, they, they have a little fun somewhere that they go tap into that the league doesn't know about so they can't hit them with <laughs> ah it's amazing oh, real quick though let me ask you about the expendables um because i was i was checking around everywhere like i like to do and who stays and who goes i went i'm looking at Kyle Matson's list and i'm thinking man uh fam is it let me see to get this in here. Um, all right, Randy Gregory. Uh, I, you know, Randy Gregory, I, I agree. He, he goes. Chase Young. Ooh, Chase Young. Fam. If Eric's going to do what he's going to do, all of a sudden there's some money to keep him, isn't there? Do you do that? Or do you look elsewhere? Maybe to get a better performer, which you might think may be a better performer. Chase already got, you know who's going to make that 
Chris Kasurik is probably going to make that decision. But he's predicted to go. Um, Sam Darnold? Prediction? He stays. Javon Kinlaw? Why would that be, be a, a suggestion? He stays. Deshaun Gibson? Gibson's probably going to leave. Uh, he's going to retire anyway. He only stretched out one more year because uh, he was begged to do so. Uh, Sebastian Joseph Day, you want to keep him? No, he's probably going. Uh, Oren Burks? Oren Burks is going to stay. I agree. Cleveland Farrell? I think he stays as well. John Feliciano? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I agree. Uh, John is almost as much as said they're going to invite him back. He stays. Kevin Givens. You looking for another dude? Hey, you let Kevin stay where he is. He's been with us for a long time. He knows what we're doing here. He's made it several good plays on, on uh, many different occasions. I like it. Kevin, you can stay. Ain't not that expensive. Ray, Ray McLeod, the man who wouldn't fall on the ball but decided to pick it up and got knocked into next week after the Super Bowl was over, and we lost the damn game. Ray Ray, you fall on that ball, 49ers got the sixth Lombardi. You're leaving. But, you know, uh, also linebacker Demetrius Flanagan Foles, uh, he's leaving. We got those two uh, linebackers we just picked up last year, and they probably want to get them some burn. Ross Dwelly, Man, it's been a long, fun run. He never really got the chances he should have gotten. Ross Dwelly's probably on the block, fam. He's probably going. Brandon Allen, uh, no need to ask that question. That's obvious. He's leaving. Logan Ryan, uh, no brainer there. Logan's definitely got, he just came in to do what he did. Here's the one. Chris Connolly, fam. How do you feel about Chris? That is a smooth running dude, man. Them routes he ran and was wide open and made them pretty catches. If you're like me, and, and, and well, I, I agree, he stays. They didn't let him play much. But he should have. Although you're not going to make Jawan Jennings sit. So you got your other starters out there. Uh, Jawan's not sitting down for anybody. So he'll get a lot more play this year. <clears throat> um, we'll see what happens with that. Matt Pryor, offensive lineman, we don't throw those away. He stays. Ben Barch, offensive lineman. Uh, he stays. Jawan Jennings, need I ask? Hell no, he doesn't go. He's staying right where he is. Second round tender. Nobody's going to give us that. And if they do, I guess we'll take it. But who's going to do it? Jawan Jennings will be a 49er next year, making him incredible plays and catches and throwing the ball around the field, just being an all-around MVP. I said, if the 49ers would have stopped fooling around and won that Super Bowl like they should have, Jawan Jennings might have been up a very, very pressured pressure thing to say that he wasn't the MVP of that Super Bowl. You got to give it to uh, <clears throat> You know, it's so funny. Brock is married now. Congratulations to Brock Purdy. He just got that done over the weekend. Yeah, so. Oh, man, fam, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And also the fact that the, the, the Eric Armstead uh, situation is throwing a different light on everything. That's a lot of money. So, you know. Aaron, get on in here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me let me get one thing straight. Tribe, cut the crap. Rombo's no coward. If every if your if your hero calls in here, we will talk to him. You tell him to call. If since you're a connection, tell him to please call. Please, I'm begging him to call. Begging him to call. Okay, let's get that straight. All right. Aaron. Rambo. Yeah, what's up? And what you go, what we gonna do, man? Cause you know you got eleven picks. Eric Armstead just gave you some more money. <laughs> what you got some guys we're gonna cut. Who do you wanna keep? Aaron, jump on in there with both feet. What are you thinking here? Um, yeah. So right before we jump into that, um I got some news that um Russell Wilson is going to Pittsburgh. Yeah, I know, right? They've been talking about that for. He is actually going to go to Pittsburgh. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Everett's number got blocked. Everett, are you one of those jerks that calls and does weird things? 
Yeah, call in, act normal, and, and production won't block you. If you come in being an a-hole, yes, you will get blocked. So Tribe, talk to your boy, and he can get in. If he comes in being a jerk, he will get blocked. All right, wait here, I'm sorry. I just want to make that clear. These guys kill me. I was scared of no Everett. Why would I be? Okay, Aaron, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But, um, yeah, so my plan, um, if, if I was the GM of, of the 49ers of free agency, um, I would definitely get a quality de- defensive tackle and an edge rusher to pair with Nick Bosa. So I would get an edge rusher like, you know, like, like a D- Daniil Hunter. Oh! Oh um, yes, we all would. a Bryce Huff, a B- Bryce Huff from um the Jets. He's yep. a free agent. Yeah, I know. And um, also that defensive end from Houston too. Um, can't remember his name. Uh, Jonathan Greener. Yeah, every he's the veteran, right? Wait. Yeah, I uh, think so. Okay. Okay, but yeah. That's and, th- um, see, that's already three options you're already throwing out there already. C- continue. And at the defensive tackle, I would love to bring back DJ Jones. Because he I, knows I, I agree. our system. Because he used to play, um, you know, under Robert Sala and D'Amico Ryan. Yeah, so. he did a, and he did not tolerate a lot of running ah. yeah but um yeah so to me i will bring in dj jones and one of the pass rushers is um bryce huff because he's you know younger but 25? he's really good yeah he is i Ten mean sacks last year i mean he's, he's a game of baller yeah, I mean, could you imagine DJ Jones and um, Bryce Huff with both so Hargrave and Nick? I I'm mean, say, yeah, that would be on. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, him, yeah, that, that, that threesome right there. And you got a fourth guy you got to put in there, too. You know, uh, we need a run stopper to go along. DJ Jones does a good job on that. But uh, we're, Eric's going to leave a little bit of a void, though, for his role. I'm not sure who they're going to put there. But they are going to be looking. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll, you know, draft a, a run stopper, probably in a draft. Yeah. I, Cause, don't you worry about the draft, though. I don't know. They'll draft him. He'll look like, oh, man, this, is, this dude is the shiznit. He comes in. And we see him during preseason. Oh, he's gonna take a little. He's gonna take a little seasoning, isn't he? I, I, you know, that's that's usually the case. Not always, but every now and then you get one that comes in and does a good job. But yeah, we'll see. And um, also, I, I could see the um, 49ers potentially um, getting a tight end. You know, like a tight end too, kind of like take pressure off a of kiddo. Yeah, probably in free agency, free agency too. So See, there's, there's that possibility. But um, you got if he's not as good as Kittle, you don't spend that money. You you, you try again. We tried yeah. to draft how many years trying to get a tight end. You know, we still got Latou. Now he, I I don't know what we got when he comes back in preseason. We'll have to find out. But that'll be too late. So if you're gonna get a tight end, you need to go get him now. You got a couple other guys playing that spot as well. I, it's really a, a complex situation with that. But go ahead. But um, yeah, I mean, I could definitely see them drafting a tight end in a draft because it's cheaper. Yeah. So yeah, then and else also else. For, yeah, and um, from what I heard, um, the Forty ers are also looking for a cornerback. Always, every year, no, no, no matter what, we're always looking for a cornerback. That's cornerbacks and running backs and wide receivers. 49ers will pick one every year, even if we only have three picks. 
kill me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but, but um, and we all know the right side of the office of mine needs to be fixed, yeah, which I hope know. they know. Yeah, no, believe me, they know. They've had enough of it too. They said there was nothing they could do about it. They tried. I mean, as far as with the personnel they had. But um, the Tibbets got resigned, by the way. You know about that, right? Yeah, I think they saw him probably because they need more depth at yeah. offensive line. Yeah. yeah hey, Aaron, you know what's so funny, though? I'm not complaining about McKibbins that much, but I see a lot of complaints. It's even the same people that wanted Mike McGlitch to get the hell up out of here. <laughs> we are very, oh. Okay, go ahead. And, um, I mean, the teams to look out for next season is, um, you know, of course, the Lions, the Packers. The Detroit Falcons versus Bruce. everybody. And you know the thing is, uh, there's always okay. those surprise teams that come and see you. All of a sudden, they come out of nowhere. I did you see Green Bay coming? I had no idea. No, nope. I thought they were a, a, a team in transition. I knew the Lions were coming, but Detroit? No, not yet. And no. And I, and I really think the um, Falcons going to be a surprise team too because yeah, they, just need they got me. talent. And I understand. And Tony can confirm this later. Kirk Cousins may actually be in the mix. If that happens, there's going to be a problem with them. So we'll see. Aaron, we got to pull up. Let me, um, I'll see you this weekend because I got to get tied up all week, whipped and chained. But, uh, yeah, well, let, me, let me see you Friday, huh? All right, Rambo. Looking forward to it. Well, free it's going to be interesting tomorrow. Oh, my God, isn't so. it? Woo! Wednesday. Maybe they're probably already talking to people now, but Wednesday confirmed. You're right. They always start a day earlier and confirm things on Wednesday for give people time to say, nah, I don't think so. And that has happened too many times. But anyway, all right. Okay. <laughs> all right, Ron. Good night on the wire. Have good a good night. night. You too. Okay, here goes Big Show. Big Show, I wish I called him the Grim Reaper. Big Show says this. I think we all need to stop fantasizing. And I love to do that, Big Show, so I don't know why you do that. About Joey or Danielle. Coming in, Chase is the candidate most likely to return. Nick likes him a lot. Oh, I know, show, but we could think we could think big, you know. God, what did Alice? Uh, thanks, show, but thank you boost with your mean self, <laughs> Alice. Oh God, Alice. We tried to get Alice the other day and, and got this void too. I hope Ellis is not mad at me for not getting back to him on the. On his that. Oh, there he is. Yeah. All right. And now we go to the state of Tennessee, the home of the the ex home of the. You know what? In Tennessee, they need to stop talking about Elvis so much. There's other things in Tennessee now they ought to talk about. What? Anyway. <laughs> they should be talking about you. It's Papa. What? Right. Good. Pop! Don't you go talking about the king there. I'm going to come on there and stop above holding your ass. <laughs> you know, I up, just... Man? <laughs> Pop, you trying to start a war. Don't, don't, don't be quiet. No, no, no. no. I, 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 I was just playing. I like it. Are you coming after me? I just seen the Elvis movie, too. I, I really enjoyed that. Uh, Pop. <laughs> I don't care about Elvis. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that. No, out I, I, I know, Jesse. You, you're in Tennessee. You better be careful. Tennessee you're versus around. California. <laughs> but besides, um, Elvis, women's race. You, you know what I liked about Elvis? So Elvis was just raised up black as can be. I, I really, I, I, that's why I don't, I, I'll never hate on him. But anyway. No, you definitely. You're a white boy with seasoning. It happens, dude. You know? Hey, but fam, you know, what Eric up? Armstead just added to the uh, the show that's about to take place here. Uh, give me give me some pop. I don't even need to ask you any questions. You just go ahead and, and do yeah. what you do. What, what, what's on your mind? Well, I actually, I, actually, I actually knew about this a while ago because they've been negotiating a renegotiation with Armstead. They've been, they've been renegotiating him for the past month trying to take a pay cut. And they were close. But in the very end, uh, you know, I guess uh, negotiations got a little bit uh, contentious. So, 
um, Armstead opted at the very last minute to be released so he could test for the agency himself. So that's what happened there. Um, you know, obviously Armstead's got new, good numbers when he's healthy, but the biggest number he has is he's got a lot of snaps missed. Yep. And that was felt last year. He's not going to do good anywhere else. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That was. I don't even know. I, I don't know what, 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 what was that? He's, he's not going to do. He's not going to. It's not like Jack said. He's not going to do well anywhere else either. You know. I, go ahead, Paul. Um. You know, Jack. 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 I mean, you know what? It's, it's typically the case when it comes to free agents. A lot of times they don't do well when it goes someplace else. That's Isn't that the case. truth. It's definitely a big risk. Uh-huh. Yeah, but you know, you got to be. If you're not going to be confident in yourself, who else is going to be confident? In? Yeah. You know? And at what point do you stand up for yourself? Maybe he felt a little insulted by the fact that 49ers asked him to take a pay cut, but I didn't know he had that kind of ego, you know? Yeah, well, you know what? It's like, I think it's like any other job. It's like when you put yourself on the line for the job and you find out at the very end of the day you're just a number, Yeah, that's the situation. I mean, he yeah. played with a torn meniscus since December 3rd last year. That's true. So he's basically saying, hey, I'm putting my health, I'm putting my life on the line. I don't want to take a pay cut. Pop, that's what he's saying. Pop, last year he tore that meniscus? You talking about this uh, past December season? December 30th, torn meniscus. Oh, yeah, okay. This has been no, this, this past yeah. December 30th, he's been playing with a torn meniscus. Yeah, I know. That is an injury that. that requires either rest, surgery, or both. And, you know, you're not really doing yourself any favors by, by doing that, you know, playing on injuries like that. But he did it for the team. Yeah. So, like I said, I got a lot of respect for Eric Armstead. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I was one of those Buckner guys who was like, you know, they should have paid Buckner and let him go. But. Yeah, Buckner still is healthy. No, as well. right now. Missed maybe one game since he's been right. in Detroit. Missed one game when he was with us. That dude's a bull. But, yeah. No, he's, he's, he's you know, a good, good player. But there are some players that, that were here that, that you may be able to entice to come back. But, like I said, there's a lot of things that go into free agency that people don't really understand. And one of the biggest things are is financials and cost of living and things like that. That plays a huge role in San Francisco when, when free agents consider to come here. Um, so it'd be interesting last year. I, I didn't expect them to make any big moves and I kind of, I'm kind of in the same position this year, which probably means they're going to make a big move. A big mm-hmm. silly dumb I, move. I, I'm with you. I did <laughs> not see that Hargrave signing coming at all, but I fell off the chair onto the yeah. floor and rolled out into the street. That was unbelievable. Well, it was unbelievable, but it also didn't make sense because of the, the way that he plays his game and. And the fact that he not he wasn't really a run de- run defender, he's more of a pass rusher. True. You know, um, it did make a lot of sense, honestly. And he was only only played sixty five percent of the snaps in, in Philly. He had to play a lot more here and just look terrible, got exposed. Mm. So everybody looks good on the defensive line when you're chasing down sacks. Yeah. Everyone when you when you're getting sacks on the defensive line, you look real good to the world because that's that's you saying, Hey, I'm here. But, you know, sacks and quarterbacks in the NFL is extremely difficult. It's so hard to sack people. People don't understand how hard it is to sack people. You know, they, they, they double team you. They chip you. The running back is there. Quarterback gets rid of the ball. Yeah, yeah, that, and then, that's and then on top of it, they can, the sh- the shift yeah, they can hold you now. So, yeah, yeah they, they can hold you now. And I, I was even against signing Bosa for the extension because I just felt they are going to do what they always do, which is hold Bosa. And the fact that the Chiefs have never been called for a holding penalty in a Super Bowl in their oh, Super Bowl history is just well, no, they did, they did, they did. You against know, so. Tom Brady, they called it. Remember, flags were all against, the field. No, all no, no, I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the Chiefs. The Chiefs have not been called for one holding call. No, in the Super Bowl. Well, I just said, I should just said that one against it, the one they lost. Oh, they got they got they yeah. got called for holding all day. I loved it, but not not against us. Yeah. No, 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 no. We'll, oh, we, the ones that lost. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Whenever you think Tom, whenever I, whenever you, someone says Tom Brady, I always think the Patriots when I hear Tom Brady. But, <laughs> but whatever the case is, uh, yeah, their defensive line man is real thin right now, and we have, yes. you know, they have not drafted very well the last several years. That's catching up with them. The Trey Lance, the uh, the Trey Lance bust of a trade is is catching up with them. So you I know, mean, you need a flawless draft. You need some smart free agent decisions. I mean, obviously DJ Jones is there, but that's this, this is DJ Jones three years later. I mean, professional football players don't appreciate like fine wine. They depreciate. That's they true. get worse. So as they make more money, they're starting to slow down. So it's like, it's a very, very risky proposition. And, um, you know, 
you got to, you know, you make your bed, you got to lay in it. So we'll see what happens. But I really don't think this hurts. I think it hurts team morale probably more than it hurts um, the the scheme of things because, you know, Armstead's missed a lot of time. And since he's missed so much time, I think that, you know, ultimately they just got to get somebody in there who can defend the run and play the scheme that they want to play. And that's going to be difficult because oh, yes. that scheme is very difficult to play by wide nine. Yeah, trying to play that on first down, it's crazy. It depends so, so much you know, on your we'll linebackers' see, but, uh, talents, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it, it, well, the linebackers are free runners, you know, and we saw they, what they happened when, when Greenlaw out went out. A lot. Yeah. yeah, they do. They do. They got. They. They. It's like I don't know if you remember this player, Junior Seau, was real good at freelancing. Uh, Troy Polamalu, yeah. one of the greatest freelancing. Of all time. Yeah. And then uh, we got two freelancers that do very good. That's Greenlaw and we got uh, Fred Warner, but, you know, Greenlaw's hurt. That's a big problem. So, yeah, there are some issues here. So, we, we win the did, Super Bowl. Did he, he, is, that's another one of those variables that, that definitely would have tilted, tilted our way. But, you know, you can't go in and make more mistakes than your opponent in a Super Bowl. We make, you know, we probably made about a dozen mistakes. We, 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 we shot ourselves I, I for sure. But Travis Kelsey, yeah, he's made about there's no coincidence that Travis Kelsey got loose as soon as, as Dre left. Yeah, but how long are you going to hold somebody like that down? That's just the way it is, though. You it's know, the Super Bowl. As, as the defense gets tired, eventually, yeah. you know, Kelsey's going to eat. It's like any top-notch player, you know, any top-notch player, you may hold them down and contain them, but eventually they're going to bust out. I, I think, you know, I think but Dre the deal is you got to bust out, too. I agree. What's that? I think Dre would outlast it, but yeah, I agree about what you're saying, though. You can't hold a good, you can't hold a good man down yeah. all day. But he wasn't going to get as you, many. You can't. Travis probably, had 100 yards in that second yeah. half? Alone? Oh, my so, Something God. like that. Something yes. like that. He was, he, all, all his stuff happened in the second half. I know. And I said, man, ain't no but, way he's going to get 100 yards on Dre in the second half. And Orrin Burks just but, got but what really killed us. But what really killed us was Mahomes' feet. And yeah. the fact that we didn't even have a – a, a, a game plan to spy him or anything like that. And, you know, it just goes to show you, it's like, it, there's like a level of arrogance with this team where they <laughs> think they can kind of just roll out and do what they want. And yeah. You know, I mean, they were, they were, they were double spying Purdy like he was Lamar. That's why Purdy wasn't doing it on the ground. Yeah. They were double spying him. I'm like, and, and damn, and they're then, double spying Purdy. And you add that to the fact that Purdy's got uh, a liability on the right side. Now, you, they, they could just pretty much do what they did. And Chris Jones says, "Yeah, yeah but you know what? Right side. Let me work you know over what? here. You know what? But, you know, McKibbins outplayed his contract. And I think what people have to understand is this: he, he outplayed his contract. They signed him for a cheap deal, I and mean, you sign a player like that for a cheap deal because that's kind of like swing tackle money. Yeah. yeah. So he can play, you know, both like, both tackle positions. Yeah. He ain't no Pro Bowler. No, but I didn't stretch it. But that, there ain't no it? offensive people." Out- he, he, There's no he, offensive lineman out there. He, he's uh, yeah, he's just stepped. It's not going to affect what they do going forward. Pop, we got to stop. Uh, Pop, we got to stop. Yeah. <laughs> Pop, listen, tell you what I was. You that, that was, that was oh, we go, boy, it's going to be crazy that, Friday, man. Because you know, you know what happens between now and Wednesday already. So I'll see you then. No, tomorrow it goes down. Tampering yeah, no. tomorrow, right? It gets it gets Is official official on Wednesday signing, but tomorrow they can get people to make great promises. So. If I'm if I'm the 49ers, if I'm the 49ers, I'm doing everything I can to get that offensive line straightened out because you know the Chiefs have re-signed uh, Thanos, mm-hmm. and you you need a, a group of people taking him out of a game. And, so, and you're right, a group, not just one or two people. I'm sick of him. Not just one or two people, a group, and, and more importantly, a person that actually stay there, actually block them, and yeah. not run out of the way. You know, <laughs> God. You know, I, I, I wish I could see this up close because dude must be scary. Anyway, fam, let's see this weekend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> like, Bob, do my best to bam so boat with Dragon. Doug, shout out to you in production, man. I mean, a big shout out to Ellis and Tony down under. All right, fam. Yeah. All right, man. Night, night, Bob. Let's go back and check on Ellis again. Ellis. L. L. Oh, I know what Ellis is doing. He's probably trying to, Ellis tries to, I hear clicking. And uh, sometimes he struggles with this a bit. 
Give me a second. Ellis, you, you, you working on it? You got it? Uh, it's going to be interesting to see who picks up who. The next two days are going to be intense. Steven! Rambo. Oh, man. What's up, Rambo? Oh, man. We, we, you know, everything. Man. We, the draft, I mean, I'm sorry, the free agency oh. situation is about to. Bro, it's about to start boiling down here. Carbs says, look, man, I ain't restructuring no comp. My leg was hurting since December. I cannot be out there, and I could have hurt myself seriously if you're going to tell me I need to take a pay cut. I didn't know. Um, I thought Eric. Double edged sword of that, Romo. Huh? Double edged sword of that. I know. So, double edged sword of that. He knew he got that tour meniscus. He knew what was at stake, and he decided to still play. The problem is, is that, you know, he could be like, oh, I'm sacrificing my health. Okay, yeah, but you could have taken the time off. You could have done that. But instead, you thought business wise, if I take time off, that's going to make me get less money. So, you decided to play through that, knowing that you had that injury. And you expect the organization, which is a business, to feel sorry for you. You're either a team player or you're not. If he doesn't want to take a 17 mil pay cut, that's fine. I mean, that's a lot of money. I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, that's pennies. That's pennies, right? Yeah. Man, I wish I could have 17 million. Yes, yeah, a lot is, of people yes. wish they could have 17 million. I mean, everybody is, I know. At the same time. <laughs> at the same time, Russell, at the same time, you got to really think about it. There's a lot of players that need to get re-signed. He just saved up some cap space by being released. 17 mil. Thank you. We'll go ahead and reuse that. We got Chase Young. And if I'm not mistaken, wasn't Chase Young a, uh, a middleman? He's not he's, he's not an outside guy. I think when they had him in Washington, he was, he was in the middle, wasn't he? And Chase was a rover. And Chase was all over that defensive line. Where, wherever Chase Young felt he could be of the most use is where he went. He was like J.J., and, and some other guys that have gotten the green light on where they want to play. Aaron Donald, uh, he was effective at it, too. And Chase, remember, we saw him going back in coverage and doing a good job at it. That's why I said, we get this dude. Yeah. Let us make sure to use him ready. for the stuff he can do. He's ready. But let me tell you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We're going to get Chase Young back. Eric Armstead, yeah, he wants to be released. Fine, we'll go ahead and release you. But I guarantee you he will not produce the same numbers with any other team. And I'll tell you why. I will tell you why. A lot of teams that have picked up some of our players that have wanted more money and got a little greedy do not show the same numbers they did when they were with us. And why? Because we got a lot of goddamn talent that provides those extra numbers for them. That's why I always say, Ben are you please? He will not produce the same numbers he's got with us. If Debo leaves and goes somewhere else, he will not produce the same numbers that he will with us. Because there is a, there's a specific design for each and every one of these players in this offense and defense that is only specific to them and the production of everyone else. If, everything, if everyone else seems to do well, then they'll produce extra numbers. They'll look really good on camera. They'll get all these highlights, you know? But if they, uh, if they jump, if they jump to another team round, it's mm -hmm. not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same. I'm sorry. But uh, I, I'm, I'm rooting for, you know, possibly signing Khalil Mack. That's just me. Uh, but, you know. Uh, Steven, yeah. Honestly, though, can we afford? I I, I like uh, I'd love to have Khalil, but where's the money coming from? Well, um, see, I, I like the idea of signing Khalil Mack. I think they could probably finesse a deal with Khalil Mack on like a one year. Like, oh yeah, let's try you out for one year, see how you do. And if you do well with the Niners, then we'll go ahead and sign you up to an extension. Yeah, well, because the thing is, he's there's going to be a lot of comp competition. Uh, everybody's I ain't gonna lie. This show fucking sucks. This show fucking sucks. Yeah, thank you. Turn this shit off right now. And and, and yeah. we'll just we'll help you by blocking you out. All right, and you suck. Whatever you need to suck to suck. All right. Hey. Um. But anyway, Stephen. Um. Khalil, he's gonna. There's gonna be a lot of competition from other people to uh, to actually get him anyway. Though that's the thing. Yeah, it's just. I mean. We got a lot of cap casualty coming, and the problem is, Rambo, is that if we get Kevin Givens, I don't know if he's gonna do really good. And I could DJ Jones, my apologies. If we get DJ Jones, I don't know if he's gonna do that good. Um, I 
know we're going to get Aziz Al-Shair. He is aiming towards coming back to the Niners. Who? He didn't wait, 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 wait. I missed that name. Who? They trade Aziz Al-Shair. Oh, yeah, yeah. You think so? Because he was yeah. making a big noise yeah, about loving it in Tennessee. Okay, so you've heard otherwise. It's awesome. Yeah, no, he, he's... Well, I, I've said it before. I've said it again. Aziz al Shire is going to come back. He is a niner and a true at heart niner. He did not produce the same numbers he did with Tennessee. Why? Because Tennessee does not have a scheme the way the Niners do. If it, I can tell you wholeheartedly, Mumbo, I can tell you wholeheartedly that if Aziz went to the Texans, he probably would have had a better outcome. Why? Because well, yeah. D'Amico knows how to use that man. Exactly. D'Amico knows how to use our players and knows our scheme better than we know our scheme. With less players and less talent. That's the crazy part. So if you're asking me, Rumble, we're probably going to get Aziz back. Probably maybe for a good deal. Maybe. Who knows? He's more of a team player than anybody else. Uh, I mean, the man showed up during almost damn near every single playoff game, and including the Super Bowl, just to cheer out his boys. That's dedication. You mean to tell me you're not going to come back to your team? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. But I do got to agree with two callers ago. They said, you know, and then I have to consider the living situation about moving to California. Uh, that I get, that I understand. I however, however, there are there are factors to that too that do they also have to consider. You know, are you worth the money? Are you actually worth the money? In my opinion, Rumble, Eric Garcia is not worth the money. He was not worth the money. If you were, if we were to write it back, if we knew what we knew now, and we had time to go back to the DeForest Buckner release. I'm pretty sure everybody, including the organization, when I said default, come back. Eric, oh, yeah. Goodbye. Well, actually, Defoe, they were going to sign him. They were going to sign him both that year, remember? Uh, default just yep. went over the uh, the limit they wanted to pay. So, you know. Well, I mean, because he, he was worth the fucking money. I mean, he, he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. And, you know, Eric kind of didn't. We trusted a lot in Eric. And, unfortunately, you know, he was already injury prone. He had... Uh, messed up me already, and on top of that, he had reoccurring plantar fasciitis. That shit sucks. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to hate him for it, but, you know, it was plantar fasciitis, turf toe, knee, a swollen knee, tendonitis, tendonitis in the knee, and it was like continu- it was continuous injury after, injury after injury after injury. Plantar fasciitis. Yeah. Was that fasciitis so, like, in, his, and, in his foot? <laughs> or knee? Yes. Fasciitis yeah. is in the foot. No, fasciitis is in the foot. Yeah. But, if you're going to tell me that, oh, we're going to suffer because we're losing him, no, we're not. No, we're not. Because you know what? That gives us, and I'll say this, that gives us a chance to sign Javon Kimlock. Well, in fact, Javon Kimlock is group. projected to stay, actually, by sub. So, anyway. See, we got to go. I'm going to uh, see you at Rome and Mrs. Steven later, huh? We'll be back Friday. It's going to be all, oh, I can't wait to see what happens this week. This is an exciting period. This is more exciting than the draft. Because the draft, you just get excited by the name and what he did in school and everything else. And you say, well, we. But this is real. Whatever you got. And then it could sometimes not play as well because you get them over, like we were saying, players leave one team, they look great on their team, they go to another team, they look average or so-so. So we'll see what happens. But anyway. Hey, this offseason has been active for a lot of teams. Uh, shit. Eagles ain't gonna do nothing for the rest of their entire career, entire mm-hmm. life span. Mm-hmm. The Eagles do nothing. The Eagles, they lose Jason Kelsey and Fletcher Cox, and all you guys are not ready. Bye. Next, uh, Buffalo just threw away their entire team. You know, <laughs> so they're not gonna be a factor. <laughs> I, I wonder what was going on. Matt Jones. Well, Matt Jones got sent to the Jaguars. It's like who? Else? Oh yeah, and then Jerry Judy. Goes uh, um, where did he go? Out oh, to the Browns. Oh, that really is nice. Jerry Judy's going to the Browns. All right, Steve, yeah. we gotta go. We gotta go. I'll, I'll, I'll be uh-huh. back Friday, and uh, let's see who signs up to be a 49er here, uh, starting tomorrow. All right. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. No, I, I mean, I know. We, shit. We, our guys know what they're doing for the most part. Just gotta get that right side of the offensive line fixed. All right, Bill. All right, Rumble. Have a good night. You too, Steven. Uh, yeah, I I thought I remember a friend that had fasciitis in his knee in high school, according to what the doctor told him. So I guess it, 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 it def, definitely defined as a, a condition in the foot. Oh, uh, let's say, hey, yo, Ellis. 
was having. Hey. Man, you, Ellis, you, you know what? What's happening is right because <laughs> this is this is like every year around this time we've been sitting back. We ain't got no money. The team is already built. We don't need to be bringing in no free agents here. And all of a sudden, Javon, yeah. Javon came in. I said, what? TWTF? Are you serious? So, you know, never, ever think the 49ers are not thinking about doing something crazy because they will. And now that Eric Armstead said, look, y'all, I, I can't be getting paid no poverty wages like y'all trying to give me. I'm, I'm Eric Armstead. I, Eric's never had an attitude. But I'm just saying, you know, Eric's out of here because yeah. the 49ers refuse to get up off that pay cut. And I think it's true. Now, I read a couple of reports about that being the case. But, uh, yeah, I guess Eric said, well, I ain't, I'm, I'll go check free agency. Y'all, y'all good luck to you. What are you thinking about? And what do you, uh, as far as who stays, who goes, who do you not want to see? We'll get it all in as much as you can. But, uh, Ellis, go right ahead, man. Yeah, man. You know, shout out to Eric Armstead for, you know, being the longest uh, tenure for denier yeah, that we had nice since guy. before Shanahan. He's the last, he's the last of the Mohican, man. Yeah. So he's, he's gone, man. Uh, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, the last it's, bit, it's, bit, it's bitter. Yeah, it's bittersweet, man. You know, um, um, he was the last person that I thought would have been cut, but I kind of feel like at the same time, I think the last maybe one or two seasons, I was thinking that we was eventually going to be probably moving on from him yeah. um, at some point because, you know, that's just kind of how things go. You know what I mean? But mm. uh, sh shout out to him. I think he's going to sign with a contender um, immediately. Oh, yeah, so you know, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. You know, uh, the Chiefs, the Bills, oh. uh, the Ravens, uh, you know, the Dolphins. Uh, you know, it just it depends, just you know, and it depends on what kind of money he wants to, um, you know, the salary increase, uh, you know, each year. You know, there's, there's some teams that will be able to move some things around, but he's got to get a – he's got a surgery, I think, already. Meniscus. So – yeah, the meniscus tear, so that, yeah. you know, repair. So that's going to allow some flexibility. But a good team is going to pick him up. He's not just going to go anywhere. Ellis, question. Um, Do you think somebody's going to pay Eric what he was getting paid by the 49ers? I just thought about that. Well, well, that's why I said he's going to have to take a pay cut. But if he's got if he's dead cap and we still got to pay him, um, you know, $17, $18 million, if he's that, if we got that much dead cap, uh, because we're going to be having to be paying him, he's going to get paid what we owe, what we owe him, and whatever team he signs with is going to be giving him as well. That's right, See, we didn't even get to use to him as a trade for. Yes, we we didn't even get. It's a, and it's a large forty nine ers up. Chiefs on top. Chiefs on top. Chiefs on top. Get that a hole out of here. Where's your your head supposed to be in the toilet first before you start talking like that? <laughs> anyway, um, but uh, you know, look. So it's gonna it's gonna be um, interesting to see you know what the amount of money we're gonna miss out on because if we would have got after, if we would have got been able to do this after June first then we could have saved I think they said seventeen or more million dollars on the cap and so um, I think we only save I think with 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 what's going on right now I think it's only two million that we save so it's really not shit it doesn't make sense that you know they would have tried to restructure with him um they should have tried it with somebody else they should have tried trent they should have tried debo they, they should have tried the somebody how many times um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure i'm i'm confused i think trent might have just been one but we have done uh fred we've done george just about everybody we've, on the team. We've, <laughs> it's, all the a-listers have been restructured i think yeah yeah and eric has our radio as well too so they Even went to Nick him again did, i think already I mean, shit, because they could have converted it to a signing bonus. I don't see why players would have, you know, would, they if, if, if they would have converted the majority of it to, like, a signing bonus, then that's cool. I but I know a, I there's a couple of – I wish they would. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't understand why guys would complain about getting their money, a, a, a large majority of their money up front, and, you know, and then, of course, less throughout the year as far as their salary is concerned because you got all that money at the beginning of the year, you know, as a signing bonus. So, I mean – but we don't know if that's what happened. And, you know, they could have just said, hey, man, we'll give you 17, you know, whatever mil. And, you know, he just flat out said no. So I'm interested to seeing what he's going to be able to get. But, shit, if he gets what – if he gets that – if he's if he's 17 or 
15 or more, uh, you know, owe 15 or more from us already, then he can just get what he's going to get from another team and still pretty much make 20 plus million on each season from two different teams. Okay, Ellis, but you, you, know bring, what I'm up, you bring up a point that's very interesting because the fact of the matter is, if they could restructure Eric and said, Eric, look, we're going to give you X amount and it's all yours in, 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 in a sewing, signing bonus, okay? And then we're going to cut that cap uh, down by this number. Now, why would he be uh, take exception to that? Because I, you know, I, I can't I believe couldn't, they wouldn't do yeah. that. Yeah, I think we'll get some more some more information on it because it's fresh. We'll get some more details on that. But um, you know, as far as pickups, man, like, you know, I I don't I don't want I don't want to see Joey Bosa on his team. Yeah, I think it's a storybook. Yes, yeah, yeah, we can't we can't be doing that kind of shit. I'm not even really I don't even really want um, okay. Khalil Mack on the team because he's injury prone. If we can't get anybody that's not injury prone. Um, you know, then, then, you know, let's just try to build from the draft. Let's try to coach up some of our guys. You know, let's bring back Randy Gregory. I said it. Randy didn't play too bad, man. He actually played better than Chase did. Uh, Chase played <laughs> on one big game, and I was in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, shit. If you, if you compare the two, you know, Randy Gregory had more effect on the game than Chase did. Um, <clears throat> and he at least had a sack or two, I think, you know, even though that's still not enough, but you know, guys are kind of trying to preserve their bodies and stuff and, and, and extend their career, uh, you know, playing football. So sometimes guys might play be playing a little bit more, you know, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, for whatever reason. And that's not acceptable, but I understand that being a reality. And, um, you know. 49ers, but, more like 49 ways to cheat to the Super Bowl. Yeah, what well, would we beat your team? Right, go ahead, Ellis. Man, listen. Make sure you make it on the yellow bus in the morning, mm-hmm. okay? The short, the short yellow bus. Make and, sure you make it on there tomorrow. And, and bring an apple because it's, your... it's past your bedtime. Yes, bring an apple for your teacher. Yeah, it's yeah. past his bedtime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, look, man, we we got to make sure that we can come through um, big, as, you know, for this, this this free agency and stuff. I, I don't. I, I'm, I'm concerned about the re, them retaining uh, whatever that lineman, offensive lineman we got from Miami. I think they're trying to go cheap right now just to have just for depth pieces. I don't see how they have so much confidence in Colton McKivitz. They don't. I understand though the depth aspect of it. We are going to get some old linemen in the draft. We get, nobody should doubt that for one second. I definitely though want us to get that wide receiver from um, South Carolina. Um, that big dude who reminds me of A.J. Brown. Uh, damn, I can't remember his name right now. Obviously. Xavier Xavier something. No, he's a wide receiver from South oh, Carolina. A.J. Brown, yeah. It's a guy who wanted my draft. His, 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 yeah. His, yeah, but his name is Xavier something. When you see him, Rombo, you're going to say, oh, that's who he was talking about. That boy I, ran I, like a 4-3 or 4-4. He's, he's big and fast. Like AJ, faster than AJ ever was. I, I, though I, I said that about the same guy that Pittsburgh Steelers picked up. Here. I was with Jack on that. Uh, that wide receiver they got th- th- that's become a diva like all wide receivers that are good too recently. Yeah. But, but fam, we gotta go. Um, and we gonna see what's gonna happen tomorrow on Wednesday, and uh, uh, Friday it should be all fun. Right. All right. All right. Yeah, that's a bet. You. We, so when are we gonna be back? Friday. Friday again, huh? All right, man. For now, the season's kind of slowed down, but see yeah, what happens. Friday. Well, it should be it should be exciting. Okay, Fortnite always provide excitement. You know this. <laughs> it's yeah, so- hey man, everybody, hey everybody, brace yourselves, right, man. Exactly. I don't think we're done. Um, you know, it's 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 gonna it's gonna be what it's gonna be, y'all. So everybody, just prepare yourself. But uh, shout out to the faithful man, y'all know what it is. Hit that like, subscribe. You you already know. Uh, thank you for the platform, Bo. As always, my pleasure. Shout out production, always. and shout shout out shout out Papa Dragon. Uh, <laughs> shout out the whole squad. Shout out Donut Tanisha. Shout out Frank. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know Frank. Frank, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna need to have a parlay with the, the fish sandwich parlay pretty soon. And uh, shout out Evan, and uh, shout out the chat man. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> yeah, we family. missed it last time. Appreciate you getting it this time, Bill. All right. Yeah, yeah, miss y'all too. I was on hold too, man. I just didn't get on in time. I was I was moving and grooving.
Okay. So I was trying to, I know you know, I, I got on late. All right. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Peace and right. love. Man, that was. All right. Peace. And, and, I, and I see Donut and T, no matter what, we're still NFC champions. See, this is the thing. This is why all the little peons, the little squirrels out there scrambling around for the nuts, this is why they, that's why they, they like to be in the face all the time. They will continue to be peons in this upcoming season. There's no doubt about it. And they will continue to be little antagonizing bitches. Um, well, Mr. Block, I says, hey, hey, I'm excited for draft. Uh, for the draft, we know how to draft. That's true. Who did we pick up last year? I, Ronnie was, uh, you know, I, 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 he, he pissed me off a few times during the course of the year, but I give him like, like the same with Jake Moody. Rookies need to have rookie moments. They can't help it. They'll get better. Ronnie might be, Ronnie Bell might be okay. Oh, wait a minute. I made a mistake. I know how big. Well, oh, it's a big show. Ooh, it's a big show on tonight. So get in here, man. One of my favorite guys. <laughs> <laughs> I so I've gotten used to you driving nails into my heart. I I got it got to fix now, so you can't get. But go ahead, show. I know you got some more things you want to say to hurt me. Well, these people that are asking for Joey Bosa to come here need to stop because <laughs> we run a four three defense and they run a three four defense. He's not a fit. Ooh, hey, same with Khalil. Uh, Chicago, they were running. Were they running a four three or three four? I, I don't believe so. Don't quote me on that, but I don't think so. That's. Um, yeah. Also, also Daniel Hunter, he is projected to be going to the Lions. And, oh, and, no, 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 um, no, 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 no! Are you serious? With that according to Baldy, they have over there already, Baldy, Baldy thinks that he's the best fit for the Lions. No, and, no, Baldy. Um, what's that other rookie they've had for a couple of years? Or that kid they drafted? It's a the terror. <laughs> God. And that's why, well, I, and that's why I projected. That's why I projected that Chase Young is going to be the most likely candidate to return to us because um, Nick advocated for him to be brought back, and we traded draft capital for him last year. And there's no, there's no reason for us to give him up because I don't hate he had one bad. No, the, he had one bad year because yeah, he, he had one bad year because Steve Wilkes was misusing him. Yeah. Um. The whole line, in fact. He was misusing the whole line. Yeah, so that's why we had an off year. That's true. Yeah, so that's the most likely candidate to return as far as edge rushers goes. But I would not be surprised um, if we get Christian Wilkins out of Miami. Yeah. Go next to Hargrave. Yeah. Defensive tackle. Yeah, I, 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 that's been, I've seen that across the net. Also, that He's offensive, offensive from... lineman out of Miami. Yeah, Robert Robert Hunt, Robert Hunt as well. I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if we go after those two players. Um, as far as big free agent signings goes, yeah, that'd be amazing if we. Amazing if we... Yeah, I'd be so content to to get rid of um, Spencer Burford and put Robert Hunt there, oh, and man. also Spencer. put Christian Wilkins in in place of Eric Armstead. That'd be great. Yeah. And there's ways to do that. We could restructure a lot of players and move back a lot of money and like we did last year nobody saw coming that we Jayvon. when we signed Hargrave yeah you you, you show you probably saw so, uh, at the same time I did Hargrave by SI was voted the worst free agent buy of the year <laughs> <laughs> I took exception to that because he's a 49er but I uh, I don't know if I could sit in a room full of those people whether you were saying that and offer any argument because Javon did not do what I thought he was going to do so Anyway. And the receiver that Ellis was talking about was Xavier Leggett, L E G G E T T out of South Carolina. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I thoroughly enjoyed watching him. Yeah, and as well as um uh Malik Neighbors, of course, uh Troy Franklin, Jack's guy, um hey, and that, a couple of other receivers. Who's that guy that says I Xavier don't Worthy? Is that him? Because the guy said, "I don't need." No, 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 no. I don't need to go to no combine. Y'all seen the tape on me? I'm not here to prove nothing to nobody. that's out there. Dude's I think that's attitude. Marvin Harrison Jr. That's yeah. Dude's got an attitude. I'm, I'm, I was done with him as soon as I heard his attitude. I said, "No, no, 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 no. no. I don't need that. We don't need that. I don't care how good and he is. Good. I did um, see the tape. 
But should we not sign a defensive tackle in free agency? I think John clearly fell in love with somebody in the draft. And like I said, with Ayuk looming, Ayuk's contract looming, negotiations are lurking behind there, whatever we want to use, whatever trade we want to use. Should they not come to fruition and we ended up trading him and getting a high draft pick? There's no doubt in my mind that John's going to draft Byron Murphy out of Texas, the defensive tackle, with whatever draft pick we get from IU from trading him, and then draft IU's replacement at 31. Um, because they obviously re-signed Colton McKivitz, and they were confident in him. Um, I am not, unfortunately. Mahomes <laughs> owns the 49ers. Mahomes owns the 49ers. Mahomes owns... Go ahead. Um, I am not, but they apparently are. I think they'll, that doesn't forego them still drafting another offensive tackle to sit behind McKivitz for a year and well, they have to. develop under him. Yeah, for better depth than number one and also to be the starter in year 2025 when McKivitz's contract is up. So I still you, think they're going to be you, drafting a right you, tackle. Yeah, but you need, you know, you right tackle, you, you need to get a guy that's going to play left tackle. He can work over there for now. But, you know, Trent Williams has got, what, two more years max? I think Trent's got one more year left, honestly. Well, so there you go. So you don't want anybody coming in there, uh, just a good right tackle prospect. I need somebody that's going to come in there and threaten Trent right now, which is impossible. But it would be nice if he at least made it look like he was uh, the man. So, yeah, that's kind of my two cents of what I wanted to say tonight with the Armstead release. Joey Bush is not coming. Stop. (laughs) Okay. And I and, and so do you read? Really, I don't. I like Joey. Uh, he's. I don't want. I don't he's know, too injury prone. Yeah, and Joey's going to play five or six games. You know, in the last couple of years, he hadn't played that many football games. So I'm not sure if I. I'm all that crazy about Joey. I love the way he plays when he's healthy, but uh, Joey's not going to stay on that. And table. like I said, he doesn't. He doesn't fit our four three defense. He's. He's well, a three four guy. I. What did they do in Ohio? Because Nick didn't see I, any, I, I, any problem adapting to that. I mean, he, he's, uh, I, he's. We'll see. But Nick and Joey are two totally different animals, and Nick stays healthier than Joey does, and which is which is um, insane because Joey used to get Nick used to get yeah, as much as Joey. They but, come from yeah. the same pedigree, but yeah. everybody's body's different. Yeah. So, yeah, just, just uh, Chase is coming back. Uh, I love this. Apollo says we need Brandon Staley and Joey Bosa. Let's ride. <laughs> Can you imagine? Do you? Hey, show real quick. How in the world, you Brandon Staley, uh, do you lose when you got those kind of bookends? Well, I guess because Joey's out most of the time, but they still had a lot of fiends on that defensive line, including they've got they had a lot of entries on that defense, they, including what's their that, safety. What's that all star um, linebacker? God, man, Cleo oh, Mack. Man. No, no, um, this guy plays. Oh, Perryman. What? Yeah, him Is too. It Perryman. No, I'm talking about the dude of. Ah, was he a linebacker or was he a safety? I are you talking oh uh, Derwin James you're talking Derwin, about Derwin Jesus Christ that dude was just Yeah, he, he was, was always brutal. injured too, so Yeah, they had a all oh, they had a cast of characters. Man. Ooh. Yep. But anyway, you gotta so, make it work. Is that something cool? I'm really is? interested to see what happens tomorrow with us. I, I, I hope we bring in some good running back depth as well and hopefully we find our tight end too. Um we need a lot. Um, yeah. of reinforcements because yeah. these guys are getting older and, yeah. and slowing down. With Bobby yeah. Turner, with so. Bobby Turner out there looking around the way he does, I have a feeling he's the reason why we always have good running backs, except for those two that they drafted in number three, which is really well. Bobby cool. Turner's no longer with us anymore. So what? Whoa, 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 whoa! What? When did that? Happen? You didn't know that? No. He's with the Commanders now. Yeah, Bobby Turner. He's Kyle. with the Commanders. Kyle let Bobby Turner leave and go to the Commanders? They must have offered him more money. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. Bobby Turner got a lot of respect. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I was thinking of somebody else. Okay, good. I don't think he, I, was yeah. say, I didn't think Bobby would ever leave Kyle. Okay, good. No, I thought so, I thought there was a different there was a different turn. All right, so you know what? You and that misinformation. You get, we're gonna I'm gonna go. <laughs> you scared me to I death. I apologize for that. I, I thought I was thinking of somebody else. I wasn't yes, sure. Yes, you were. All right. <laughs> I'll see you. Okay. I'll see you Friday. Shout out to everyone. I'll take care. All right. All right. Take care, fam. All right. All right, fam. All right. All right. <laughs>
Man, I said, Bobby went to the Commanders? Why? Okay. Um, let us see here. It's, 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 uh... All right, it's Donut and Tanisha. Do DT. Come on in here with them donuts and bring that coffee too. Because y'all know how much I love you. And that kind of rhymes, you know what I mean? Donut, tea. Ooh. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I said I woke up this morning and I got out of bed. Had a big old cup of coffee to fill our head. We've been going for a while and that's a fact, but we are back saying, what's up with that? Woo! Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Ooh, what's up with that? What's up with that? I say, ooh, what's up with that? What's up with that? We back tonight and we ready to talk hella smack. What's up with that? What's up with that? Everybody talking smack, we still in a situation. What's up with that? What's, <laughs> What's up, up with, with that? that? We went to the Super Bowl, had a minor setback. What's up with, with that? that? We say, What's, What's up? up? Everybody out there, production and Mr. Robbo, I say, We back. I say, What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> I say all you Ram fans out there, you talking smack because you got a young team. I don't care how young you are. You could go ahead and come in compete mode, but our champion window is still wide open. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We Woo. miss you, faithful. How you doing, hey. baby? Hey, hey, we miss you. you know, you know what's understandable. I know a lot of people went into mourning for a while. I talked to people who just now got out of a coma. And then of those who have been on intravenous feedings and things like that. But you know, We've been here, done this, and at some point it's going to end. As long as we continue to slap the NFC around, eventually Mr. Mahomes is going to run out of gas, as he should have this year. I got four or five people that messed up that game, but it wasn't them that beat us. We beat us like we always love to do. Ah! But anyway. That's facts. That's you know, that's facts, Rombo. Mm -hmm. you, you couldn't say it better. And to the other callers that want to come in and talking about, especially that one caller that like to chime in and like to interrupt callers, I hope you interrupt my call because I am a comedian and I will get you just like a chess game. You know what I'm saying? Before you even come back in, player. Okay, now you're trying to say oh, Mahomes on the Niners, Mahomes on the Niners. You didn't say it the third time, player. Why? Because production cut you off. Was a Two, cut you're not off. candy, man. And number three, Three times going to be a charm because you know what? As long as – if you think about it, Rombo, the first game, they won by a good margin. This game, they won by a small margin. And over time, by a, a, a whack-ass play due to a mistake. Oh. We're going to crack this code, ladies and gentlemen, and it's going to come this year. Thanksgiving. As long as we got Brock Purdy and as long as we got CMC yeah. and the tools around him yeah. like the silverback, yeah. let's go ahead and get somebody to go with – uh, the, let's go somebody drop somebody to go with the silver back on the other side and actually compete with McKivitz. That's all you need. Let's get us a nice center, and let's get us a guard. You know, we got a lot of money. We have a lot of draft picks. We don't have to do that much restructuring because everything is going to fall into place. Mm. Your boy John Lynch is about to go in the cryogenic freezer, <laughs> get that pimp head out. Just like I said the last two seasons, he's about to go get that pimp hat out and start making everything happen starting tomorrow morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Stay tuned. And, 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 and watch your phone. Like you get a notification all of a sudden yeah. in the middle of nowhere. nowhere. You, you hours, three o'clock in the morning. What? <laughs> what was y'all doing? All? <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. I know that you saw it. All of a sudden you see it. Oh, man. No, he didn't. They I didn't think I saw it. I saw uh, somebody on the, early on in the chat, too. I'd like to give it up to them, too. Uh, uh, they say that we're excited about draft day because we seem to make all the right moves on the draft picks. And that is true also because, ladies and gentlemen, the last time, if you think about it, the last time we drafted an office of lineman, an office of tackle in the first round, he's on his way to the Hall of Fame. His name is Joe Staley. Staley. Yeah. Yeah. Number 74. So stay patient. The time is coming, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to be on. Yes, I'm yes. excited. Woo. We're excited, Danny. And, and, yes, and even 31. Oh, you know, with all them picks, we compensatory picks, you don't need to draft a 31. Oh, yeah. 
oh, not yeah. just, just just move on up. I don't need it. We can't use all 11 of them kids, bringing them in just to cut them. They ain't gonna, they, we don't have 11 exactly. spots open that they can beat anybody out. And I don't need to stack any more people. Exactly. Bill and Jackson over there on the edge is already bothering me. And then they got some other guys too, Ronnie, mm-hmm. Ronnie Bill. I mean, I, I got plenty of people. I need that yeah. prime time boy. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We got the, we got everything we need to stack everything up the way we need to. The moves we need to make, let's make the moves. And uh, to those, if they're not going to be with us next season, you know, thank you for your support and your contribution. And, you know, as a fan, we do love you for your contribution and getting us to the Super Bowl. You understand? Yeah. But we got to understand this, Faithful, is uh, the game of football is not just on the field. It's off season like right now. Yeah. It's a chess game. Yeah. Everybody, the, our window has not closed for the championship. The other teams is trying to uplift themselves to compete. That's mm-hmm. all that is. Building and until the they take that crown, until they take that crown away from us, we still the reigning NFC champions. Mm-hmm. So anybody in the NFC, you could talk all the smack you want. We'll see this time next season. Will you be there or will it be us? And I guarantee it will be us. Because, mm. see, the 49ers, when it comes down to push, come to shove, except for the Chiefs, for some odd reason, the, the Chiefs got, it was all luck. It had nothing to do with beating us down. We led them clowns by 10 points on two different occasions. And it's still lucky, got lucky, got lucky. We got guys going on the field. What Dre did, I don't know, exploding off the sideline tore his foot. Then you got, I, oh, let me not go into that. I don't want to relive that. But you know what? What is your situ- What are you thinking on Eric Armstead? Oh yeah, Eric Armstead's situation uh, is clear. You know, um, as a fan, I do want him around because he does contribute when he's healthy. But he does have injury problems with uh, with his feet, his ankles, his yes. knees that just lingering. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when those problems do come in, it keeps him out for the wrong. Time, the and wrong long. games that when we do need them. You know what I'm saying? So the best dependability is availability, as we always say. And when he's available, he's a beast. He's one of the top, to me, one of the top defensive run stoppers in the league. He does the thing as far as uh, the pass rush. He gives us the push we need. But on the big games that we need him, if he's injured because something is lingering, yeah, we, we need somebody that's going to be there every we – need, we need somebody that's going to be there the whole season. Dependable, someone that's not hurt, injury prone. I, you know, that's though, right. I, though, I just wonder who is that beast that you can bring in for that because that's a, that's a nasty job Eric Armstead had. And we never <laughs> really gave him the credit he should have got when he was healthy. I did. People used to talk about Eric Armstead like he had a tail. I refuse to get involved in those conversations because I seen what he was doing out there and how he was taking the grunt work and how he was getting double teamed and he was a very violent individual on the snap. And a point of impact, Eric Armstead was bringing people over there to stop him. And so I said, you know what? His role is exactly. not easily defined, guy. You know, he's Eric's doing a lot of work. Mm-hmm. So we're going to have to find that kind of guy. Oh, again. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, you know, they got uh, – I can't pinpoint the names right now. I don't want to interrupt the call and – try to look up on Bleacher Report and see the two de- defensive tackles, the inside of it, that plays his position. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, there's two of them that I like. Both of them have jet speed, and both of them has crazy, crazy strength and ability. You know what I mean? They Need do that. that one drill where they get off their back, and they go this way, go this way, pick yeah. up this one uh, yeah. towel and drop it in a circle. Uh, amazing. Amazing to me. Not edge rushers. Defensive tackles, ladies no, and gentlemen. That, that, that's, that's they a have drill. Of I mean, when dudes do that, yeah. it's funny to watch because they explode up off the dirt. Not like, you know, normally when they explode off the dirt because they're going to have that happen too during the course of a game. You're going to get knocked down. You're going to get tripped up. You need to be get up. Here comes that running back. You need to be able to blow up and grab his ass. <laughs> you know, so, you exactly. know. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. You know, the offensive line need to be, uh, of course, the offensive line need to be. Uh, what you call it, upgraded, you know what I'm saying, because you want to protect your most valued asset, and, of course, that's Brock Purdy. The yeah. way that he's playing the last two seasons, we got to protect the house, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get the uh, insurance policy, which is the offensive line that we need, and, of course, what everybody else has been saying, you know what I'm saying, but I do like that one wide receiver 
uh, Xavier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I do like the other receiver. He's a speedster. His name is Worthy. He broke the record for the uh, 40-yard dash in uh, in a combine, you know? Uh, So anybody that can – if Brock Purdy can throw that ball – and try to overthrow them, and they looking up on it like, come on, play it, come on, play it, and they just catch it and don't miss it, like Ray Ray McLeod do, <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> Ray Ray. Ray Ray. You know, Ray Ray, oh, Ray Ray's in trouble. Ray Ray's in trouble for a lot of reasons. Last season in general, and yeah, Ray, oh. uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, they'll get together, ladies and gentlemen, keep your head up, and when everybody talk to you and talk about, oh, Pat Mahone this, Pat Mahone that, I'm, if you if they don't have a Chiefs pen or a Chiefs hat or a Chiefs jersey or something that says Chiefs on them, and they have another jersey or something else on them, ladies and gentlemen, let them know they don't own us. They beat us. They apparently own y'all because y'all got to go through the edit film to the AFC. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and like, like and I said, through the and NFC. Patrick's, never the game. Patrick's out there through, through an INT. Uh, I said, you know what? Yeah. This is like I don't know how they went in this game. It was their defense for the first time. Oh, yeah. The Chiefs defense yeah. came to their rescue. Damn it! Ah. Mm-hmm. Oh Where yeah. Is next time. Though? But you know yeah. what though? Oh yeah, it's gonna be okay though. You know, uh, you know, we, we see a lot of people got the bags earlier, like uh, Mr. Chris Jones. You know what I'm saying with the uh, Chiefs. Uh, you know, you got your boy, uh, Mr. Jared Judy, that went to the, uh, uh, to the to the Browns, you understand me, trying to join Miles Garrett and them. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot going on out there, but stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. It's hours away. Mm. Your boy, John Lynch, that went to the cryogenic freezer. He got the hat dusted <laughs> off with the freezer. He got his black book out. He ain't using no uh, uh, laptop. He ain't using no uh, uh, tablets. He got the old school black book out. The kind where you got to wrap and wrap the string around it and unfold it. He blowing it. And uh, let me go ahead and get this out the way. <laughs> <laughs> we got Donut, Talisha, let me see you hey, this weekend. I'll be back. And uh, we can talk about after the dust settles. That's the... What happened? That sounds like a plan. We'll be looking for your Friday, Rambo. All right. This is, this is going to be crazy. I can't imagine. Try, make a wild guess as to who's going to be picked. Just, just, just for the sake of making one. Uh, let's see. For you talking about number one overall? No, I'm, I'm talking about tomorrow and between now and Wednesday. Oh, oh, you know what? I can't even guess that right now. I'm so yeah. serious. I'm just excited. I'm excited about how much, how much we have to offer, how much we have to spend, and the way John is about to act. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I can't even give that right now. I'm too excited. You know, I'm really I, cause excited. Because last year, did you see? I did not see Javon coming last year, and I figured John may have some more surprises. Now, Jay, Javon, according to SI, is, was not a good idea, but I'm not sure how bad right. he was. But anyway, they're going to pick up somebody. I don't know. If it's, it, it could be an O lineman. I don't think so, because oh, good O linemen just aren't available. But a defensive line? Oh, I don't know. We might see. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll right, see. Man. That's what he and that's what he called it. Free agent frenzy, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> that right there. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. DT. I'm gonna see you all this weekend. And uh, you know, more 49er football. Some good news, I hope, other than today's news. I'm not sure how to feel about Eric Armstead being taken out, but still, we'll see. All right, y'all. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Just stay right. Stay right, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, of course, if you're eating, wash that dish. You know what I'm saying? Watch your feet. <laughs> and uh, if it's running in your town, wear the umbrella. But please don't get shocked by lightning. And you have a good night. <laughs> it hurts. Hey, Ellis, thank you for the recognition. Hope you're good, bro. But stay faithful, y'all. And hey. we'll talk to you Friday. There you go, Ellis. All right. T. D. All right, y'all. Have a great night. Look forward to hearing from you Friday. You too. You too. Thanks, man. Good night, Rambo. Good night. Good night. Uh, hey, 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 Sheik, I seen you, Sheik. Tony, I was looking, you know what, Tony? I was looking for you too, right? Listen, we know where we're going to go, though. Um, and let's see what happens. Uh, I mean, we already got an explosion in, in Santa Clara, right? You know, you know, fam, you know what's going to be really funny, though? We're going to see something happen to another team or two or three, hopefully not in our division, you know. 
Because uh, I don't, the Cardinals, you got to worry about the Cardinals next year, fam. I just got a bad feeling. A little bit after the season, and I start thinking about what's going on in, in, in Arizona. And I looked at that coach, and that dude just reeks of confidence, and he looks like he's running that team like it ought to be ran. Ain't no more Cliff Kingsbury football going on over there now. We had to fight a butt off to beat them. Now, they got money. Draft picks galore. What are they going to do? What do they pick up a couple of those guys we're talking about as wide receiver? Offensive lineman? Everybody needs an offensive lineman. The one we wanted, they're going to pick. That goes for a lot of teams. This is why what already concerns me the most. You know, you look. At, I, I was looking down the list of, of some players. I said, you know what? And they say they'll name the player and how good his stats are and how grisly he is and everything else and ha- allowed one hit in four years of school. And, you know, you, 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 they, they linked a team that he's most likely going to go to. And the 49ers were never listed to too many except that guy from Duke. <sighs> Rumble was shaking. I am, Casey. I'm a little, oh, no. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> about what's going to happen between now and the draft. No. And it's pivotal to our future, Case. Oh, man. Case, good to hear from you, though. Come on in. Likewise, Rumble. I was, I was about to take off, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stay. What do you, uh, Casey, I, Eric Armstead left. Your favorite guy is, is out of here. And uh, some, some, some rumors are circling around that uh, your favorite offensive lineman may be making a comeback. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wouldn't that be special? There he comes, man. It's oh man. Cage is gonna be delighted, you know, because anybody but what we have, well, McKivitz got resigned. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rag on McKivitz. He's, he never had that much playing time. He got better as the season went along. People won't give me any credit for that though, Case. As you know how that's how how life is. You and once you get peed and booped on, people continue to do that to you, no matter what. So you know. But Casey, what are you uh-huh. thinking, man? What are you going to do with all those draft picks? You know, Eric Armstead left, as I mentioned. I think they need to go secondary and offensive line. I mean, they they seem to be wanting to stay uh, with the the people they have on offensive line because um, they, you know, they never make any real moves for that. Well, they, so. they will this year. It wasn't, it wasn't a priority you know. until now. Yeah. Well, historically, their philosophy has been to draft, uh, you know, spend on defense. defense and, I know. Yeah, so, I mean, it... We're going to get one this year, know. too. No doubt about it. If they, tra- if they trade Boza and draft defensive line, you know, I won't be surprised. This is what this team does. I know, right? Listen, Defensive Case, and you mentioned like that. Collecting. Since Eric, since Eric Armstead left, now it's a coin toss. They're sitting in their in their boardroom now. I right, call it heads or tails. Heads, defensive lineman. Tails, off offensive lineman. Right, call it. Call, quit. Stop with the coin, guys. You can get a defensive lineman in the draft or something. You need to draft a solid offensive lineman. It's going to cost a lot of money. Let's groom him. Let's get him ready for that left side. Is that what you would do? I'm, Oh, I know they're flipping that coin, Casey. Ah. Well, you know, uh, they got to get the most out of Hargrave this year. Yeah. So they got their hands full. Um, I, I, should, I forgot to ask show because Casey, you don't you don't follow the, the college ball that much, right? Who is the best defensive t- tackle in the in the draft this year? Because if he's available at 31, I, I, don't I guarantee know, you the 49ers really will get him. Draft this year. I know, I just got to figure out. But, show, help me out. Um, Who's the best defensive of... lineman in the draft, show? Flag me up on that. Well, Rumble, I'm not here to talk about show's opinion on the draft. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, you know. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of free agents out right now, though. There's a ton of free agents out. They're gonna call, you're going to pay um, top dollar for them, and you're going to overpay because it is free agency. Yeah. Well, you know, after Moody, after Moody had uh, such a good, uh, you know, performance in the playoffs, I think as long as they get the offensive line and uh, the secondary figured out, they're going to be back in the NFC Championship and hopefully the Super Bowl. 
Hmm. I think it would be crazy if they got Saquon Barkley somehow. But, but um, Saquon's going to end up in Texas if he's smart. He wants to stay in New York, though. No matter what they do to him, he wants to stay in New York, from what I understand. He does not want to leave. His whole lifestyle is New want, York. Yeah. I want McCaffrey to get some help. You know, Elijah hasn't been healthy uh, the whole Kyle, time. Kyle's not going to let anybody play. See, do you like a Murphy? Yeah? Okay. Uh, thanks, Sheik. Okay, i got to check him out. But go ahead. You know, McCaffrey's never – whatever – they're not going to – you're going to see those same two running backs backing him up next year. Say what? We're going to see uh, the same two running backs backing him up now. You're going to see Mitchell, and you're going to see um, – oh, every time I put these earphones on, I'm sitting I can't think. Uh, what's our other running back that never gets to play? Anyway, McCaffrey, that's why they keep the other two guys. There's no point in bringing another guy in here. And, Jordan and, Mason. And Jordan. Everybody knows he's not going to play. I mean, when he's got CMC, he's going to continue to run CMC the whole way out. Yeah. Oh, no, I just I think it'd be cool to get, you know, Saquon or. Oh, it'd be awesome. Saquon's a one, though. You don't you don't run him behind McCaffrey. And he's not going to want to come here to run behind McCaffrey. I mean, behind McCaffrey, he's a two. Well, I mean, the thing is, Saquon. You gotta, you gotta let him work. Saquon, he can, he's a game changer too. Both of them are. You know, that's what's really crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think the chances are the Niners draft Frank Gore or Brendan Rice? Zero. Really? Yeah. Zero percent chance they I draft Frank Gore Jr. Well, for, wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me take that back on Frank Gore Jr. because he's he's going to be picked up late rounds. Maybe. Especially since we have multiple late round picks anyway. I mean, if he's there, man, and Frank's if Frank's in the draft room, you got to pick him up. Especially if you got you all know what I mean? you want anyway, and you don't if need Frank's in the draft room. Rumble, imagine yeah. that, man. Frank, Frank, he may be in the draft room. You know, everybody wants to see CMC, uh, Jerry Jr., and everybody else on the team, but I don't know if they're all better than anybody else yeah. in the draft that we'd be looking over those folks to bring in uh, family, you know? Oh, you know, Rumbo, it's March. I got to think about something. I'm thinking about Frank Gore Jr. getting a ring with the 49ers. <laughs> the, the and, and showing it to his dad. Check this out, Pops. You know what I'm saying? You know what? You can, you can, I wear the same size. You can wear it every now and then if you want to. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> that would be brutal. Frank would be so proud. He, he would be, he'd be, Frank he'd be, Gore, Brunskill, let's go, you know. Yeah, Frank yeah. Gore Jr. and Brunskill, let's get it. <laughs> Brunskill. I wonder how he's doing where he was. Where did he go last year? I don't know. I thought he went to the Browns. No, yeah. not the Browns. It huh. wasn't at Tennessee. Mm, I can't remember. Maybe. Uh, I can't, yeah. But I remember, oh, man. Brunskill is one of the best all-around offensive linemen. He doesn't get, he didn't get blown up very often, um, and he did a good job on Aaron Donald, which is yeah. extremely special. I mean, they schemed him up. He, Brunskill also was bumping him off of people, but still, we were we were pretty solid on the right side. After well, McGlinchey, you know what? We may have I don't know. McGlinchey had to go. We got to do better. We got to get somebody good in the first round. Casey, first round picks got to be an offensive lineman. I, I, I think I'm going to take that back. Second, we can fix a lineman. Yeah. Offensive line or secondary? Because you, you got but, a lot of picks. You can trade up. You don't need to stay at 31. You can at least get to 20. You know, I'm just um, I'm I'm very interested to see what they do with the uh, with their defensive scheme this year. And. Um, I think I think Hargrave is going to be a big piece of, the, of what happens here. Yeah, you know, they've needed a real true game. nose tackle since uh, DJ Jones. Aren't they thinking about getting DJ Jones back? Yeah, DJ Jones was Ian Ian Williams before him, and then DJ Jones. Mm-hmm. Uh, we haven't had yeah. a good. We've only had two or three good nose tackles. Gibbons is not bad, but he's not a he's not the starter. He's good backup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you know they'll get Hufanga back. So the secondary will be a lot better. They're definitely going to target the offensive line. It doesn't need a lot of people. That's the secondary. Um, 
Yeah. You want to get that. Man, they really need that one, in the that, playoffs. That top cornerback out of college, you can get him. But otherwise, it's not a real hardcore necessity. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Well, Ron, I'm going to mosey on out of here. And uh, I'll tap in with you next week. you get a chance, do a video on how do you mosey. <laughs> I've always loved that word, though. Well, well Rumbo, it's a family show. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'll catch you later. Case, always appreciate you. We'll talk later. <laughs> Thank you. <Casey. laughs> Eric, Eric, you know, I, Armstead is on his way out. How do you feel? I, I, I have, I don't know how to feel, Eric. You know, we've been with Eric for how long? It's been a decade. I feel I don't feel good about this. I am concerned about how you fill that void. We're talking about using the money elsewhere, but if that's a void, that'll be money. And because when Eric was healthy, he's one of the best run stoppers, and Eric could set the edge really well too. So we're uh, you know, <laughs> you pick yourself, slap yourself. What I tell you. We're not trying to win the company family picnic football game. No, the Frank Gordon Jr. Rice CMC's brother. So I, they said it. I didn't even bring it up. I, I'm with you. I said, listen, we're not going to be bringing in family members just because they're family members. They got to be able to play. <laughs> I'm with you on that. <laughs> Yo, Becca. Huh? Oh, Mr. Black Eyes. Thomason. Lakin. Bring him back. Depend on the price. You know, hey, Rumble. There's a, so many things to think about, Bethel. You know, people. Yeah. Are, 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 there's a lot of people laughing and joking about Eric Armstead leaving, but what they don't realize is uh, we're going to go back to probably the D'Amico and Robert Sala style defense because uh, the guy, yeah. the guy that's taking over now, is, is is from that camp. So we'll probably look a little bit like we did before uh, Steve Wilkes got here, with the secondary looking like ass yeah. cheeks. Because I, Wilkes did some good things with that secondary. Uh, even no, though no, the uh, thought there was I, something wrong. I I think I was hearing something about that. We only have like five people signing our defense. What? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, we got to fill that all that up and we ain't got uh, any money. Yes. But if, if all those people are gone, then there's a lot of money that's going to be coming in so a lot of them probably either going to re-sign with us or either we're going to maybe pick up a lot of people when your contracts you know, yeah for some reason somehow they get to talk people into one year contracts i don't know about this year though mm. i really wonder uh, you we you might because if you see a lot of people that sign with us, when they go somewhere else, they get paid. I know, right? Look at the Monahu. Yeah. <laughs> DJ Jones. Yeah. And, yeah. Even that guy that and, uh, the and another. Yeah. yeah. And then if I remember right, uh, number five, didn't he, wasn't he really penalized when he was with Dallas? Wasn't he? Um, always talking shit, but when he came for the Niners, he was a really nice person, wasn't penalized, oh, wasn't nothing. Randy Gregory. Yep. And he became a better, he became more better player because of our system and because of our where place and our culture. Yeah. So. Re- yeah. They could be wrong about Randy Gregory. He might be back for a, a team-friendly contract. I don't know how much longer he can take that, but it it depends on if uh, they want to get bigger money somewhere else, or you know, make it a shot at the Super Bowl. If uh, it depends on you know what yeah. what they want to yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, players at that point, Randy Gregory's getting up there. Uh, an age at the point where he might think I need to get a big contact here before I call it a day. So maybe though, I don't know. It's hard, hard to say with him. 
because I think they really yeah, do yeah. like Chase Young. I, 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 they, uh, you know, Chase Young looked pretty good in the Super Bowl. Finally, it looked like it took yeah. him. It took him weeks to understand what the 49ers do and how they play. Apparently, but he looked pretty good that last in that last couple of games. Yes, he was actually. So I don't know. I just have dreams yeah, we about we Chase might want him back, play. but yeah, and or see, a lot of people might think. Did he do that for just the Super Bowl or, you know? He was fired up. Yeah, he wanted way he, Yeah. Or is he going to play the way he did, you know, where, you know, in the playoffs where he kind of, you know, didn't play hard? So it's going to be kind of fishy for him. Yeah. So he might want to come back. Yeah. And the way he played, I'd say, yeah, you know, you – what we're, we're willing to go 14 uh, and give you an incentive package that could take you up to 20, 25. What do you think? Yeah. And then, and then he says, oh, well, okay, I need I need a Pro Bowl uh, selection. I need a minimum of, of 10 sacks. And those pressures got to get up at least around 70. And uh, you'll collect all of that. Not, not, not a lot for you to achieve. You know, you – you got to get these guys to stay. When you're when you're a team like the 49ers, you don't have a lot yeah. of extra money. You got to do things that you can do to get guys to come on over. And then I think Armstead, he's probably going to get released on June the 1st. Because you uh, actually have a better chance of saving more money than cutting them right now. Mm, but he, if he wants, I think he wants to test the free agent market. So he'll, he's going to be out there tomorrow. Uh, it, it, it all depends on the Niners. If because we could either save ten or we could save two. Well, yeah. And but you so, know, you you, you got to give him a certain amount of respect. I think he already feels disrespected as it is. Um, at this point, you can't really play games with him on that. Uh, maybe <laughs> if he if he agrees to that kind of a deal, I can't imagine him doing that. But uh, Eric wants to go and test yeah. the free agency market now. And if he waits until that date, he, he pretty much won't get picked up by anybody. Yeah, but, you know, it, you know, like a lot of people will say, if you don't want to play nice with one team, they don't have to play nice with two. <laughs> you know, it, so, and we have seen pe- people, you know, try to save up some money and cut them certain date. You know, if you can't get a, and plus, if he if he if he had surgery, when he's gonna be back? I know. Right? If he's not gonna be back at that time, then what's the point of cutting them if he's still not gonna make it? So yeah, that meniscus that's gonna take. You know, he can't pass a physical. Um, that meniscus is gonna. That's be another thing. Two months minimum to heal. I mean, you know, if, to work on it. because if you cut him and you give him all this money and he's still not ready. You know, and if you cut him June and he's still not ready, you'll save more money. Yeah, it, you we know, may have not heard the end of that. You're right, yeah. uh, Bethel. There's there's more, yeah, maybe so. more strings attached to that than we even know about. We just know that uh, he's elected to leave. Yeah, so you know we don't, you know, no, we don't know still what might happen. Everybody thinks that they're gonna want to pick him up, but he still has to. Uh, get better with the injury and still have to pass uh, the doctors and see if uh, everything healed up before he, you know, he you don't want to go back there contract, injured. So. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. No team's going to pick you up unless you pass physical anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot to think about. And I think all those draft picks that we have are – it depends on who we pick up in free agent that we're going to see uh, what they're going to do in the draft. Mm-hmm. You know, because we got to fill all those mm-hmm. holes up. And that's going to say a lot if we're going to either try to pick up people in free agency or pick up people in the draft. Yeah. So yeah. we'll find out shortly. You know, Starting, yeah. Starting tomorrow. When you wake up, check it out. I'm t- I, I, I can already see it's gonna be a little crazy. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. 
all day. Yeah. And anything they talked about on Tuesday can be signed on Wednesday. So, yeah. Yeah. Monday and Tuesday. And then, yeah. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, everybody's talking and lying. And, and remember Randy Gregor that year that he had, he had promised the Cowboys he's going to re-sign with them on a, on a Monday and free agency or whatever day the day came in. The, the official signing period, Randy Gregor says, no, nah, I think I'm going to go to Denver. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, we just messed up, Randy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> but you know what was so funny about uh, that? It was against Dallas, and I was just delighted. <laughs> yeah. Woo! And then I remember uh, Dallas was going to uh, want to pick him back up, and then we got him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I tell you. Uh, that was it, funny. Anytime you're messing with the Cowboys, it's just hilarious. God. And it, yeah, and, yeah. And was, and then, I, Cowboys came after me on Twitter too. I couldn't stop laughing. These uh, talk about yeah, you losers choked another Super Bowl. Wait, <laughs> wait for it. This is a Dallas Cowboy talk. <laughs> Man, <Randy Post. laughs> this cannot. Yeah, be a oh, Cowboy you barely, re- you barely <laughs> remind me that. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> you barely remind me that I, I've been seeing some people say you know that you know we're like the Dallas Cowboys that you know we make it but we don't ever <laughs> win so there's two different things the dallas cowboys always choke on their own and, and we always we we get beat but the thing is the dallas cowboys yeah. don't even go to the playoffs they the dallas no, cowboys they, have not been in out of the first round since 95. Yep. you know you know what, if, what, if what we, most resemble is maybe uh, the yeah. utah jazz what are some of the nba teams we're, we're getting also like the Buffalo Bills. One more time, and we will become the Buffalo Bills. Oh, the West yeah. yeah. So, you know, we, we, we beat people up, but somehow something goes wrong in the Super Bowl. And then this year was really the case because the Chiefs didn't do anything to beat us. They beat them themselves. No, oh. No, and then plus, uh, plus, look, at we're always fighting the referees. And I go... Dallas doesn't have to deal with that. We all and we do. So, in, in, in fact, Dallas was supposed to lose to Detroit that day, and and the refs allowed them and the to get referee away with that. Yeah. them out. Yeah, you know. Yeah, Dallas is America's so. team. Remember that, and they will always get preferential yeah. treatment. It's just the way it's going to oh, be. It was, it, was actually, it was actually funny how Dallas Cowboys are delusional because <laughs> I remember I was talking to a Dallas Cowgirl fan. And they're all like, oh, if we would have made it to a championship, we would have beat you guys. I'm all like, you guys left to Green Bay. You got, got your ass whooped. How I mean, are you going to say you're going to beat us? It was brutal. Yeah. I mean, I mean in, in your own house, they came in there yeah. and, and put you out. How you go talk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was laughing. Lord. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Hey, Bethel, I'm going to tell you what. I'll see you Friday. Can't wait to see what happens. All right? All right, see you Friday, and let's go Niners. Yes. And punch the like. Thanks, Bethel. <laughs> All right. Not Good night, man. <laughs> I just never understood people going to other fan pages to gloat about poop nobody on that page cares about. It's like, it, Mark, remember, these are people that don't really have. Their teams are not. Mark, when was the last time we weren't the talk of the offseason? Think about that for a minute. Nobody's talking about the Rams and the Seahawks. For what? They're talking about Patrick Mahomes and, and they just signed Chris. They're talking about other teams and coaches moving around. But as far as a focal point of conversation, the Rams and the Seahawks and the Cowboys are always going to take a more conversation even than we do because they're an embarrassment to the city, state of Texas. And they're also America's team, which also gives them a lot of pressure. So, you know, they come in here because they're feeling left out. <laughs> <laughs> you poor, pathetic, idiotic souls. Well, you can continue to come in here. I won't put you out till you get out of line. So, you know, enjoy your pathetic existence. <laughs> hey, Tony. <laughs> Rambo, Rambo, good evening. How are you? I'm doing all right. You know, I, I tell you, I, I should, I, 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 all of us should get ready for, for all of a sudden things to happen to our teams. When I saw Eric Armstead was released, I don't know why I was surprised. You know, you know, Tony, if you see oh. anything about the Falcons, are you initially going to get shocked? I don't know. Who would be the biggest surprise on your team that all of a sudden doesn't, isn't on it anymore? If we release Grady Jarrett, that would piss me off too. 
you know, he's coming off of that Achilles. He's making like sixteen million a year, but mm. I don't think they're gonna release him. It better not. You, you can't like oh, well, you know the Hawks did that to Richard Sherman. Remember that year he was coming. Richard Sherman. That's why Richard Sherman loves the 49ers now, and he has a real bitter hatred for his, his, his Seahawks. But uh, they cut him while he was rehabbing. Didn't even wait. Didn't have enough respect for one of their greatest cornerbacks they've ever had to heal up. Didn't even give him a shot. I think bro, we'll take him. <sighs> a lot of former Seahawks are bitter uh, for the team at the Super Bowl 49, if you know what I mean, on the one yard line. <laughs> oh, that too. Hey, who was that guy that, you know what? that rode off on the wagon that flipped off everybody in Seattle? <laughs> God, oh, was that was uh, Earl Thomas. Earl, Earl yeah. Thomas, who's now retired. Well, yeah, his Get wife. Get Earl Thomas. Because he, he in the news, him and his wife shooting. His and wife, right? Arguing back and forth and cheating and guns and all this old crap. God. Don't you, yeah. don't, Tony, aren't you glad your life is stable? <laughs> yeah. There are some things going around. Wow. Wow. Stuff like that's like a tennis. It's like me watching a tennis match. I just yeah, right. enjoy. I don't enjoy the show, but I laugh at the show. And as you always say, the comedy. Exactly. I find it com- comical, man. People acting like asses toward themselves or towards others. I find it real comical. You I know? Rather, like like uh, Rams fans in in this chat talking the, crap. They're they're still celebrating Rambo, two the, years the light, ago. Uh, going on three years. Heard, Master Baker Mayfield resigned with uh, Tampa. Three years, one hundred and fifteen million dollars, fifty million guaranteed. You know, they were they were talking about that, but I, you know, you just how much respect do you have for Baker Mayfield? I didn't, I didn't. When they said they weren't going to get, but then they have to realize, well, can you find something better? And then you say to yourself, well, whew, I guess we're you draft a quarterback now in the first I got round. For him. Yeah. Yep, and I didn't mean to call him master. I won't call him master anymore. I got respect for him now. And another uh, signing, Rambo, you don't, I know you don't care about this one. Wait. Former Falcon, former Niner, cornerback, Isaiah Oliver, signed a one-year deal with the Jets. Terms were undisclosed. <laughs> right. No, I do care about that. Father. Like we were talking about, when well, you're looking for humor and comedy, <laughs> maybe Isaiah's a better fit for them. I, maybe, I don't know, because he went, well, no, you guys, you guys got tired of him, too. I say it's gonna have to polish well, up some their, skills. Their defensive coordinator is, is Jeff Earl. Jeff Earl, I can't pronounce his last name, who used to be one of our defensive coaches. He was our linebackers and defensive backs coach with ah. Atlanta. He's a, he's a Jets defensive uh, coordinator. So, so that's he knows what that connection. He was right there. Yeah. So he knows how to get the best like out of. Uh, yeah. He yeah. knows how to get the best of Isaiah. More so than the 49ers. Rambo, a deal that made me bad. It made me mad. I guess it happened yesterday when um, and the Denver Broncos are the biggest joke of the NFL. They traded Jerry Judy to the Cleveland Browns yet last night for a fifth and sixth round pick. I was mad that the Falcons did. We could have did that. For fifth and sixth round? Just a fifth and a sixth rounder? Well, hell, yeah. a lot of teams could have did it. I, I don't know Browns. why that's all they wanted. This happens. You have to keep – you've got to stay alert, uh, Tony. These, these teams sometimes are offering some of the best ball players for absolutely nothing. A fifth and sixth round pick for Jerry Judy and his route running ability? Yeah. How much is Jerry Judy getting paid? Yeah. I don't know, but I know he's probably up for re signing next year, I think, 2025. I was going to say, got not him, Amari Cooper, and Elijah Moore. Ooh. That's a formidable person. And you know what? That, with their defense, who's going to be the quarterback over in, uh, oh, yeah, Deshaun may be ready to play next year. Yeah, but Flacco, if they sign Flacco, that's going to put the squeeze on them. They Flacco should be sign Flacco. They should. Well, yeah, they should try to get keep him, keep him as a backup anyway. Yeah, yeah. But Jerry so those Judy. are the only moves I've heard tonight. Uh, Isaiah Oliver and Baker Mayfield and Judy. And of course, Chris Chris Jones got paid. Did you see that contract? Five years. How old is Chris? Oh, uh, yeah, he's not thirty yet. He's been in the league eight years, twenty nine thirty, uh, twenty nine thirty. Yep. Yeah, he is, isn't he? But the Chiefs are trying yeah, to show him lots of love because of the thing that he's won them two Super Bowls against the Forty ers Chris Jones was the one who tore us apart last time too, and this time. 
And uh, it's the same side of the line, too. Chris just said, I'm going to be down here. Y'all looking for me, man. Were you right right side? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. But Mike, um, and it's funny because Chris Jones restructured his contract several times over the years, and they reward him. Eric Armstead has restructured his contract several times over the years, yep. and y'all release him. So yeah. There's a difference. Well, you know, they did the worse than that. They, they, they try to lower it, give them a, a salary cut. They weren't, they're they done restructuring. They just go cut it. And I think, you know what's up, Tony? I think the 49ers knew what they were doing by offering him that. They knew he wouldn't accept that. But rather than cut right. him, right. say we'll give him this offer, and if he takes it good, if not, uh, he'll go out and test the free agency waters. And good luck to him. Yeah. It's, I hope it doesn't affect well, the, the team. A lot of people on the team love Derek. The, the friend, free agent frenzy opens in less than 12 hours. So tomorrow, the, uh, 8 a.m. your time, 11 a.m. my time. So we'll see what happens because we need some receivers. And uh, I, I like. I hope we re-sign Van, Van Jefferson as our number three receiver because he didn't really get a chance. With the, the time Rams? we traded for him, yeah. sign him as the number three, go out and get a number two. You know, that's why you guys definitely should have been all over Jerry Judy. But Jerry Judy, didn't you guys just get rid of Jerry Judy? I just realized. Are you talking about Denver? Yeah. Hey, Jerry Judy used to play with the uh, the Falcons, you. Yeah. No, Until, no, Denver Broncos. No, I mean, Jerry Judy got caught up in a gambling. Wasn't he in, in Atlanta? With, he was always with the Broncos? Oh, you're talking about Calvin Ridley. Oh, Calvin is – oh, it's right. I'm thinking – Calvin is yeah. the one who runs them razor-sharp routes. Jerry Judy's okay. He's not spectacular. He's what not making a lot of noise. I just realized yeah. I'm mixing him up in Calvin. Okay. And Calvin's a free agent too, but he ain't coming back to Atlanta. Yeah. So somebody's going to pick him up. Oh, yeah. also Fletcher Cox, Cox retired tonight after yeah. 12 years. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, that's 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 going to be – Fletcher Cox, the Eagles, that's amazing how many cornerstones they're losing this year. The Eagles are going to either pick up some some people or they're going to nosedive worse than they did last year. You can't lose that kind of – those kind of studs in your locker room, they influence the youngsters a lot. They make them play above their head. Because yeah, those are the kind of players you want to impress all the time if you're, if you're a kid coming in, right? So, yeah, Kelsey, Cox, I even think the Rams will be losing some, some uh, veterans or young veterans too because um, veterans don't want to play for them. And the Rams are getting younger. I see that. But uh, after uh, the Golden Boy starts throwing more picks next year, they're gonna bench his ass. I'm calling it now. You know he's cost them. They tried to get rid of him last year. Remember? They can't, nobody wants that contract. Mm -hmm. How many more years he left that on that money, contract? Yeah. yeah. I think two more years. I think oh, two more years. Oh, and that dead cap, they can't just release him. <laughs> no. Ooh that's why yeah. when you see teams that don't want to offer long contracts, see, that's why. Yep, yep. The Rams are the joke of the league. I mean, not the Rams. The uh, the Broncos are the joke of the league. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be watching them see what they do. Uh I guess they're going to try to stockpile picks now. They got an extra fifth and an extra six. And, uh, <laughs> that's, all they, that's all they can do. A dead cap of $85 million. Tony, are you kidding? What the, is that ever happened? That's never happened in NFL history. No, no. They got to they gotta pay Russell Wilson, though he'll be playing for somebody else. <laughs> and, and Russell Wilson could be retired, and they'll still be paying him. Yeah. <laughs> Russ said, yep. I've opened up. A retirement plan with the Denver Broncos, and you guys can get me. I, you name your figure, I'll, I'll I'll be fine. Russ, can you take two? That's, hey, you that's, know, uh, back I think I one and a half. That happened with the Cowboys. That happened with the Cowboys Rambo years ago. With Troy Eggman, oh. when Emmitt Smith left to the Cardinals, they were still paying them. Then when he retired, they were still paying them. <laughs> Troy Eggman, they were still paying them. Michael <laughs> Irvin, they were still paying them. Leon Lett, they were still paying them. <laughs> Jerry Jones. Thinking he's a GM, yep, back in the day. <laughs> Moose Johnson, too. Moose Johnson. Paying them after they retired. That's just yep. stupid planning. That's why I, 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 well, the 49ers organization, a lot of people, a lot of 49ers fans used to rag our organization all the time. <clears throat> but they knew what they were doing. 
and you can see right now it reflects on things that have taken place in the last few years. You don't see the 49ers parked in the red zone, uh, getting ticketed and towed, because they know better than to do these things. Knowing down the line, it's going to come back to bite you in the booty. Uh. Exactly. Don't do that either. If you saw the Rams, they were still paying Todd Gurley when he was with us, <laughs> and two years after he retired. <laughs> <laughs> You know, our girl, he said, I want my money. I did, he did, and, he, and he could take him to court, you know, and, and get more money. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, you yes, know, sir. I, I, uh, yep. no sympathy for the Rams, and mainly because of their fans. I might have sympathy for them, but their fans, just endless trash, just endless trash. We guys haven't got a Super Bowl <laughs> lately. We, 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 it's, it's us and the, and the Hawks, are the only teams in MC West that have recently captured the Lombardi. Okay, how many between y'all? Hey, how many you got? Your division. I heard you talking about the Cardinals earlier that you're yeah. kind of concerned. Yeah, they got a lot of money. Yeah, watch out for them Seahawks, Rambo. They got all those picks. Well, see, that's the thing. Cap money. You know, you 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 the picks have to uh, mature a little bit. They've already got. You know what though? They've got some picks that have uh, matured a little bit already. Uh, yeah, yeah. That offensive line should be ready now. They got rid of. Uh, What's what's his new nickname? I love it so much. Uh, the safety. Uh, oh yeah, um, so bad I forgot his name. I know, right? They got they got rid of one of their picks from uh, Quandre Diggs. Didn't they get rid of oh, him? Oh, Quandre Quandre's gone. Yeah. yeah, they got rid of him. Come on, Adams, the safety yeah. Adams. Uh, uh, there was, there was this, something small Adams. What's his first name? Anyway. Uh, Jamal, so, uh, just small Adams. <laughs> oh, yeah. I really, I really enjoyed that. Adams, man. Adams. Now, will they still have to pay him? Yeah, probably. They still have to pay him. I don't know. <laughs> you know, they still you know. Be collecting checks. And Adams was never all that as a safety. He could play, but but Adams no, could come was. off the edge like a crazy man. He was good at that. I mean, that's that that, that blitz. Oh, Adams is gonna get there no matter what. So. You know what, Rombo? All there was for him, he had that one good year with the Jets, the last year with the Jets, and he got paid off of that. Yep. That's all that was. Never was the same. And when he came to, when he came to yep. the Hawks, he was so, so. so. No, the, the Hawks is an organization. They've got a pretty good organization, and I expect him to compete. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but I don't know. Geno Smith is not. You do need a premier quarterback in the NFL nowadays. You really do have to have one. No matter what people say about Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy can play. Um, They're talking about Seattle getting uh, Michael Penix, the quarterback from Washington, oh. went to the national championship. He's going to be available at, uh, what's that, 16 where they pick? You're you talking so? about drafting him. You, you, you think he'll be available at 16? Talking about it. I don't know if he will. I don't know if they will, but they're talking about it. Yeah. You know, um, the quarterbacks I understand this year are going to be the first uh, in the first ten picks. It's believed they're going to be six, six of them. Not draft. I think three, maybe four. Yeah. I know the yeah. first three picks is quarterbacks. One, yeah, two, three, gone. Yeah, I just I just read that. It's wow. I, these quarterbacks have been that impressive. So this is a quarterback kind of year. But th- there's a lot of offensive line. All I know is Bo Nix is going to be there at eight for us, and we're not going to take him. <laughs> we're not going to take him. I, 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 I already know. I, I'm, I won't even be mad when it don't happen. I won't be mad when it don't happen because I know we're not. I do like Jaden Daniels a little bit better. He's going to be gone to either New England or Washington at two or three. Yeah. I already know that unless we trade him to get him. Bo Nix is going to be right there, man. Uh, and we're not going to take him. Well, Tony, better not take J.J. McCarthy of Michigan, though. We better not. I'm going to be pissed off. Well, Tony, you, you might feel better. After Bo comes in the league, if he goes to the wrong team, uh, you know, he, he may be like the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, picket. He may be like, oh, my Lord, man, everybody's so hot. Pickett is having all kinds of problems. And the Pittsburgh Steelers fans, you know how they are. They got six titles. Of course they're going to be impatient. Yeah. And Pickett's in there yeah. just having all kinds of problems. So... And he's got good they're talking receivers, about Mitchell too. Trubisky. They're talking about Rick Mitchell Trubisky re-signing back with Buffalo, which he left to go to Pittsburgh. I thought he already. I thought it was a done deal. Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Some teams, it's an organization. Huh? They just don't know what they're doing. Tell me we got. You know, Mac go. Jones got traded. 
Mac Jones got traded to Jacksonville. Get out. Mac no, Jones really. From New England. I didn't know this. Yeah. I've not been I've been busy. I haven't been able to keep up with football like I want to. Mac Jones is he's playing for, behind for a six for a sixth round pick. A sixth round sixth pick. Rounder. Okay. Yeah. That wipes yeah. out everybody but Trevor in that class. Yeah. As being yeah. nothing all of them all of them just hit the hit the toilet and kept on all of them. Oh, wow. 2021 draft, yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, Trey may still be in the mix because if Dak thinks he's going to go out there and look like Dak, uh, Trey may have been in the league long enough now to have picked up some things that can help him out. And, uh, oh, I'd, I'd lose well, my mind laughing. Serious. They cannot be serious about paying Dak $60 million, give him a $20 million raise. They can't be serious about that, can they? I, you know, I wouldn't put anything past. Jerry, I mean, Jerry Jones paid him fifty. I was already shocked. So that is dumb. We'll go as we'll Not go right. as we'll go as far as as Dak will take us. Jerry, are you serious? <laughs> well, how far do you plan? You know, well, how much more much money are you gonna give him to make him take you there? <laughs> I can't see it. I, I can't can't see it either. I can't and, see his, and, and his teammates have given up on him, by the way. You, you, some of the things they're saying around the locker room, oh, yeah. they're not nice. Oh, yeah, in, including um, uh, C.D. Lamb on Twitter. I told you about that. I know, and he, he early in the offseason, he started in. And, uh, yeah. you know, it, 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 probably, it probably runs all through the locker room. He's just saying things that other players won't say in public. So and y'all might as well cut that salary. Give Trey Trey Lance got an arm. Yeah, no, big, yeah. Oh, they they they're losing to Ron Smith too. You know the uh, long time left tackle. He's a free agent. They're not re-signing him. Uh oh. So somebody's gonna pick him up. Uh oh. Offensive tackle. Yeah. No, I know. Yep. I heard about something about that a few weeks ago. I think uh, that that he there was gonna be some. Uh, yep. Some somebody gonna be. Expect him to get fined by somebody. He's gone. Hell yeah. Anytime you can play a good offensive line, you are you are straight. You are gold. Yeah. Anyway, all right, Tony. Always a pleasure. Look, let me look. Let me look for you tomorrow. Always a pleasure, Rambo. I'm sorry, Friday. Always. Friday. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And I can't wait, Rams. I hear you. In the, you see you in the chat. You suck. Golden <laughs> Boy is going to get bent. The whole organization is ass. I'm probably still paying Todd Gurley. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to screw up the draft. You're going to mess it up. Hey, we'll do business with you. I'm gonna trade up the eight. Y'all give us y'all give us four first round picks and three second round picks, and we'll give you the eight slot. I mean, they've them. already made a deal like Rambo that. Have a good <laughs> With the Lions, remember? <laughs> Listen, just take him. Who? Listen, <laughs> we'll do anything. We've got there to have. Yep. We've got to have your guy. Stafford's got to play. And what do you mean, Jared? Jared's a good quarterback. Believe me, we may have misused him, but you can get him, and we're gonna pay part of his salary. Oh, Jared, good, Jared give Goff me a gift pick. Jameer Gibbs pick that they got in the first round, their second first round pick. Mm-hmm. That was the Rams pick. <laughs> Thank you, Rams. <laughs> Running back. <laughs> Boy. Anyway. All right. Rams and Denver. Yeah. I'll see you Friday, Tony. Have a great night. I'll see you Friday, sir. Looking forward. Take care. <laughs> night, Tony. Okay. That'll wrap. So anyway, fam, we'll see you Friday, and uh, can't wait for the middle of the week. I'll be all over social media. If uh, I'm in, Rom- I'm in Rombo Sports on both Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, everything. Uh, you know, I'll be I'll be yelling up, screaming, jumping down, screaming, making noise, and making fun of people. Especially if it's coming out of L.A. or Seattle, they won't do anything though. Especially Seattle, they're quiet. And when's the last time anybody heard anything out of Arizona? Isn't it amazing how some teams keep everything they do hush hush? Ah, not us. We have people probing around. I think they have people in disguises running around, guys disguised as Kyle Shanahan coming in before Kyle does to find out what's going on. <laughs> I mean, we, there's, we're always, everybody knows what we do. All, our stuff is in the street all the time. Fine. We'll be fine. We are the NFC cream of the crop for now. <laughs> NFC West. I don't want to say NFC West. NFC, period. Damn. I'm a good. All of a sudden, I got another call. Okay. Uh, well, it looks like we're not leaving. 
<laughs> I'm gonna let David. Come on in, Dave. Hello. David. As you know, we've been, we've been talking. Good to hear from you, David. As you know, David, we've been talking about the fact that the Eric Armstead said he took away. I wasn't even going to talk about that until all of a sudden that news came up just minutes before I was going to get any start here. Eric Armstead is being released. And then I was wondering who's going to stay and who's going to go. You got 11 picks, Dave, to manipulate and make this team better. How would you go about doing that? Have you thought about that? I, I don't know what we're going to do. It's just crazy. It's it's a crazy time. There's always when it comes to any any professional sport in the off season goes nuts. I mean any sport in every sport. It is indeed. Uh, just a just a quickie. Um, can I get a belated birthday shout? Hey, hey. David, your birthday today? Or late, you said belated. It was yeah, my birthday this... last week. Oh, Dave, let me tune up right now. <laughs> me, 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 me. Happy red and gold birthday to David. Happy Nana's birthday to Big Dave. Happy. Win it all in 2025. Birthday! Super Bowl, that is. To David. Oh, oh yeah. Happy! Nana! Brother Dave! Dave, you're not going to see another birthday without the 49ers winning the Super Bowl, which is going to come up next year. I think they're going to be... After they regroup, uh, what, what, what's, what's going on, Ron Paul? And, 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 How are we going to fix this? The, the, the thing is, they've got their morning system. Because you know, I was worried about the guys mentally. I was worried about them being just emotionally drained from these efforts and coming away without why, the why, brass why am I seeing, like, are you going for a two and a four? Like, this is insulting. What? Are you seeing what? I've I've seen on Twitter Ayuk going for a two and a four. Really? Yeah. A two and a four. What do you mean by that? Is there, is there a subliminal message in that? Because I know twenty twenty twenty. Uh, no, some, no. They they're saying Ayuk's going to be traded for a two and a four. Oh. Okay, listen, Dave. Watch out for these rumors. Uh, you know they're they're going to start ruling. No, I I don't believe that shit because I'm not accepting that. Well, yeah, the, the media is going to go ahead and, and start with that. I mean, they do this every year. Uh, they bring. It's like Jimmy saying, "Are oh, we going to get the, the three that for Jimmy, but we get a four? <laughs> and well, a two is realistic, actually. But from so Jimmy, who? Jimmy's going to be a Jimmy, and <laughs> we're not going to get what we get. We're not. We're not I, I really think the 49ers are going to treat Ayuk like they treat everybody else, which is not good. He'll, oh, no, he'll be, no, no, we, we thought, like, uh, well, like, what's going on? They'll sign him in August. Like, we, like we, we've got to get him. We, and we've got to get JJ for the two, so we're J- going to pay him. JJ, they can sign him now. Uh, it, that That's just got to be done. Yeah, he'll, he'll, they'll sign him by this weekend, like, or like, next weekend. All, I, all I've got to say is, you're on the side of the states where I can't reach but if you could slap John Lynch and slap some sense into him <laughs> well listen don't be led by the media though remember, remember they're I making they're making him. things up I he, love people love people but the thing is I doubt very seriously what the media knows anything about what's going on in Santa Clara one thing about the, the 49ers some of the stuff that's manufactured and put out there for us to ingest it's made up fabricated nonsense just to keep the thing going. And I also, also appreciate those media people because without them, there would be no drama. I think it'd be, some of these things are exaggerated, lies, mm. and everything else. So, you know, you'd be ready for that. Yeah. But do, who, who do you think we're going to get with free agency? See, that's, that's, do you think we're going to get anyone? It's going to be a surprise, whoever it is. Uh, it's going to be a shock and a surprise. 
And and the first thing we're going to say, David, is how do they afford him? Like I did last year. (laughs) Oh, especially with the cap that we've got. We've got to get someone big. So I can't imagine who. Uh, who's who's a top priority? I got a feeling you can't go out and get an offensive it's line. It's got to be the O-line. But they're not going to go out and get an offensive line. I, no... I know they're saying it on the draft, but who can we get? Yeah. yeah there's, there's I know Hufunga's coming back, so that's not a worry. Yeah. Javarius Ward. Yeah. If we get the deal for him, yeah. that's done on the other side. Then maybe, but the thing is, is this is what worries me is I know that the first pick is going to be a defensive lineman. It, it <laughs> just, always happens. Just rest your mind or shoot it. it. That's it's true. It's just a standard Lynch Shanahan thing. It's defensive line. And they have an excuse time. now too, David. Now that Eric Armstead is leaving, they have an excuse. They say, listen. Our first intention was to go after an offensive lineman, but when, when Eric made his departure, uh, we immediately had to uh, scramble our, whatever our thoughts were and go after a defensive lineman. And we think we picked up a good off defensive lineman that's going to really help us out. Right. Uh, John, John, what, what about, John, the right side about, of the offensive um, line. <laughs> John, what about John or DJ Jones saying he's free? You yeah. coming back? There's um. A lot of people aren't really warm about that. Um, and Aziz Al-Shair... I'd, I'd have him back because he knows. I, I'd, I'd take al Shayer back. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take anyone back that knows our system. Yeah. As it was. And I think it's going back to as it was uh, this year with that guy that we just hired at the D.C. But so, it, yeah. it's just, you no know, like, and for the schedule that we've got this year... It's, oh yeah, it's evil. Oh, I keep forgetting about our schedule. Well, I thought our schedule was brutal last year because of the traveling. But uh, oh no, this this is evil. I I know I I I know I said I'd love you in London, but this year is evil. Oh, you know, it's 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 because of the fact that we went to the Super Bowl, so you gotta you gotta pay all playoff teams in your schedule. But it's it's not. <laughs> but this this schedule is not fair. Other than the fact that I'm not worried about the division games because that's that's six and no, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. But, but the other games, Buffalo, you've just not given us. Kansas like you've City. just given us. Like, like, Ooh, yeah. F games, like F the cowgirls. Yeah. We've got one. F, F the motherfucking. Jesus Christ. Detroit. Who we just had to deal with in the Do we have Detroit too? Bowl. Yeah. And we've got it's like we've got Salah as well. And oh, I the was Jets. talking with Jets. That's what I was worried about. The Jets. And I'm talking about the Jets. It's like I know they've got a like they've got whatever team, but he knows us and we might struggle. Their defense is already good anyway. And yeah. uh and they're gonna have Rogers. Oh that that was the first thing he was gonna shore up and and that's what he did. All of a sudden I hear this tone in my ear when I'm in, in, inside and, it. And if this draft's gonna come, he's gonna tighten it up even more. Yeah. Well, you know, we that's why we gotta get better. And the 49ers are aware of that fact. I just worried about a lot of guys. Oh, oh no, I'm not, I'm not doubting us in any respect. But if we've got a battle every week, I'm just worried. Like I'm worried about the usual Niners' problem is injuries, and like how Greenlaw can just jump and then tear his oh. Achilles. He, he, that's a, that's a, that's a forty nine. Uh, that's, that's a classic. Luck and bad luck, Russ. Dave, we're gonna go. No, that's um, just a cla- that's a classic. I know. I just we have it happen to us how often. Dave, let me. We're gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see you Friday. We're gonna find out what's gonna happen. 
Uh, are you back Friday? Yeah, back Friday. I, I know it's been. I know it's been a while. I've I've not been well for a little while. So. Oh, Dave, I hope you get better because we glad, haven't been in here. But glad you're. But glad I know you're back Friday, and I'll I'll be with you then. All right, and you and you you take care of yourself because I want you to be healthy by Friday. Actually, I want you to be healthy by tomorrow. <laughs> All right. All uh, right. Cheers, dude. Hey. Just get that. Just get that other receiver next to Joe behind your back. See, I know what you mean. <laughs> All right. Big Joe. All right. Yeah. Hey. Hey, you ain't chose that receiver next to Joe yet. I'm, I'm still Jer cut, I'm still Jer worrying on you. It's most likely going to You're right. It's going to be Jerry. I, I, I got a fear. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> All right, Dave. I, I, do you know what? It might be 82 as well. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I might be fighting you on that one. <laughs> All right. I'll take, your, I'll take your advice on it, too. All right, David. Have a great day. Have a day. good one. You too. Thanks. Take care, Dave. Thanks. Uh, let's go check. Out. It's Tony. Tony, come on in. Huh? Oh, Bronco Niners. I need a, a B day shout out. I just turned six. <laughs> You're not getting one. Let me know though when the little girl of yours who sings like like an angel, or those two or those two little gangsters of yours. Let me know when their birthday is. I'm ready for that. Hey, Tony. Hey, Rambo. Well, Tony, we're sitting here. Don't you just say? Mm -hmm. uh, Eric Armstead is leaving? Yeah, yeah. Eric's, the 49ers came in and said, listen, Eric, we need for you to take a pay cut if you would. And, and Eric said, well, guys, I, I don't know. You call me in here to tell me this. I, I can't imagine what you expected me to say, but I'm, I'm, I'm restructured. I played last year with a torn meniscus. I, I went out there and, and put my blood guts on the line, and, and now you're telling me I need to take a pay cut, and I'm not doing it. And, you know, so Eric's, <laughs> Eric's on his way out of here. I mean, these guys dumb or what? I don't know. I, man. Who's going to stop the run? I know, right? That's the first thing everybody. That's the first thing that comes into everybody's mind. Oh, who's going to stop the run now? Mm. And if you if you had half a molecule for a brain cell in your head, and you knew that you were going to have this conversation with him. Why didn't you trade the bloke? To, you could have traded him to sell it or snap him up straight away, and you could have got a few picks for him. Ooh. Oh, Tony, I hadn't even entertained that thought because the news hit me so hard, I blacked out. You're right. Are they dumb or what, Rob? What's the well, trouble well, with you, these people? Well, you, you know, uh, they're, they're, a lot of times they do boneheaded things that – I, I'm surprised no one else in the media has brought that up yet that I've been reading through. Eric Armstead, you knew at the beginning of the year or whatever, or halfway through the year, you could have traded the bloke. Yeah. Um, there's teams out. The Texans would have taken him. The Ooh, Jets would have taken Jets him. Jets would have taken him too, yeah. Any one of those teams. And he could have got a couple of picks. Even one, doesn't matter, second round, third round, fourth round, couple of fours, couple of threes. Or like Anthony Blakely says, an offensive guard or lineman. <laughs> Maybe a two and a three. That's true. I'm crying out loud, man. What's Shut wrong with these people? Oh, you Just Jesus. let the bloke go like that. People are clapping their hands like seals out there. Yeah, because they could get Eric for, for next to nothing. I don't, I don't know. The, the 49ers still have to pay his contract, don't they? Because they're giving him a release. Well, is his contract up? Or is he still under contract? If he's he has, still he has under one year, contract... One year left. Well, you can trade him. If you're still under contract. You know... At least maybe, get a pick They're going to revisit him. it. You're right. Well, he should have thought of that, though. Or else they're being respectful to a nine-year veteran and not going to do what he doesn't want to do. But in this case... You maybe probably should. If he's not going to accept your deal, then see if you can make a deal. Because those guys we're are waiting mature. out there for him to come walking out there talking about him a free yeah. agent. You know how many teams are waiting for that? We're oh, my God. We're, we're mature adults. You can sit down with Eric and say, listen, okay, we're, you're still under contract, brother, but we're going to trade you. Where do you want to go? And then there's that. We're, there's a respectful way to preference? do it. I agree. You want you want to go to Salah? You want to go to the Jets? Uh, you want to go to the Texans? You want to? Where do you want to go? 
And then you pick up the phone and you say, listen, we've got Eric Armstead, we can't afford him, give us a pick. Or whatever, give us a pick for Eric. You know, you wouldn't say you can't afford him. You say, we've got Eric Armstead, we're offering, what are you going to give us for him? Are you going to throw a few picks at you? Yeah. Like Harold says it releases, opens up 18 mil. I was worried about a dead cap. Nobody said anything about a dead cap. I don't think, maybe it doesn't. 18 mil, oh, I, I thought I heard a number that the 49ers would be able to spend. Okay, so they're not going to argue with Eric <laughs> for that reason, Tony. <laughs> they're not. They're you desperate for funding right now. Him. It just sucks. Still I know, we could have got something for it because you're going to go out and give that to a free agent now? You, Rombo, if we owe him money, which I don't know, you could have got a pick and – ate half of his salary. And the other team could have said, all right, we'll give you a fourth rounder or a third rounder and we'll eat half of his salary. You eat the other half. Who's negotiating over there? Well, apparently nobody. I, you know what? I, I wonder who, He must have been talking to John Lynch. Because I, I can't imagine Kyle sitting in on these conversations. I really can't. Because, <laughs> you know, Kyle doesn't want anything to do with that, really. No, he'd be too embarrassed to talk to him. Oh, that's a 10 million dead cap. Say, okay, but still opens up 18. Okay. Thanks, Harold. Eric could say to him, after all these years, now you're going to give me the boot, you little wanker. And in, 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 in this fashion? <laughs> exactly. In a tacky yeah. fashion. But the same way with Jimmy Ward. You know, there's no love. There's no real... It's just... Jimmy Ward, right? There's no devotion yeah, yeah, when it comes absolutely. to players. It turns into a hardcore business when it comes to deals. And you could get kicked and slapped on your way out, too. Guy throws a door and hits you in the back of the head as you're walking out. So, and you might have been there for a decade. I mean, a Hall of Famer and everything else. They, look at Tom Brady when he left Patriotville. I mean, it was awful. It was nasty. It was disgusting. Him and Belichick had nothing but bad things to say about each other. My God. It's frightening. Jimmy, it? Jimmy, Jimmy Ward had a great year last year too. Yeah, he did. Almost went to the. They, they, they did go to the playoffs. Yeah, they're gonna get better this year too. If they pick up Saquon Barkley, look out for the Texans. They're gonna have. They, they've got. They've got a lot of money, Rumble. They've got a lot of money. They've been stockpiling cash for a long time. And uh, you know what? Uh, how the players are with. Um, Oh, I mean, I can't remember people's names. I swear I'm getting the outside. Uh, D'Amico yeah. Ryan's. They love oh, D'Amico. Oh, I, I they know you were talking about the coach, yeah. And D'Amico, D'Amico yeah. know how to use him because he's been there before. Like, yeah. same with Eric. He's a he's a good dude. They, they'll they buy into anything if he teaches him. You know what I mean? He's just a good all-round human being. You know what? You just named where Eric's on his way to. Eric's either going to D'Amico, Robert, or possibly, to I, Miami. Take I can't see him going to Miami arm. though. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. But they'll take him with open arms. Yeah, especially Sella and, and, and D'Amico. And the treatment he'd be, he'd be looking for. He'll also be looking for how he's going to be treated. He doesn't want to be treated like no schmuck. You yeah, know no, he's been in the league too long. So he, for that. He, he knows those coaches. And uh, they know him. They know him yeah. And they'll just go, hey, brother, welcome. Come in. All right. Short up the run here. Yeah. <laughs> he set that edge on, on one place. Uh, well, we, we better. This, this, is, this reminds me of Buckner, Rombo. Yeah. These exits this are This reminds me of Buckner. I, I've never seen a clean exit. They're always tacky. Every team, when, when a guy leaves, it's usually under bad circumstances. I, I'm worried about B.A. As much as I don't think we should worry about it, I still have the back of my mind. It's going to get tackier in a, in a minute. This is going to be a long, hot summer with B.A. The 49ers create those hot summers by not signing people until frigging August. I don't understand why they have to do that every year with everybody. Is D. Buck, D. Buck the, the Forrest Buckner, is he still under contract? <laughs> we might, we, we, we with us paying the play? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's a clean break there. His contract had ended, I think, or coming up in the last year, so it's over now. Uh, oh, you mean as far as with the uh, Indy? I don't know. 
come to think of it. We could we could swap him out for yeah, Eric. Well, that'd be great. I'll tell you where. Lovely. Where we gotta go to an Emma. I mean, I can't wait till the next two, three days rolls by. This is going to be great. This is going to be nothing but nonstop entertainment. Not only for the 49ers, uh, but every team around I'll the league. I'll tell you what, what Rambo. Hmm. I'm sick of these goddamn clickbaiters. Oh, breaking news, breaking news. I know, Keep right? On. And they're not going to stop. It's going to get worse. Between now, <laughs> between now and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, my God. They're going to start making things up. And Eric Arm said, 49ers have been rumored to have tried to deal Brandon Ayuk and I, shut up. You got, listen, where do you got? What, unknown sources. Ah! What are unknown sources? Oh, it's you. It's not <laughs> yeah, going look. anywhere. <laughs> Delusional people. Anyway. That's well, where it's going to It's got to be. we got to be used to it by now, but I never get used to it. Every offseason I say to myself, don't take these people seriously, and I do. No. Uh, no. They're anyway. all full of shit. I know. All right, Tony. Have a great day. All right, bro. I'll see you this weekend. No worries, bro. All right. Cheers, mate. (laughs) Shout out to everybody and uh, see you in the next chapter. Cheers, Tony. Appreciate you. All right. Have a great day. Cheers. Cheers, bro. You too. Uh, Hang on, Tony. All right, fam. I'm seriously making an exit now. Uh, I'll see you this weekend with our brand new players. This one said with an S. A brand brand new player. If we don't sign anybody this year, that'll be surprising. The Axie, that'll be equally surprising. If we sign somebody, it's going to be surprising. If we don't sign anybody, it'll be surprising. Wouldn't it be crazy? Okay, now what are we going to do? Eric Armstead left. The offensive line, what are we going to do about that? They didn't address that. What are we going to do now? Get ready to get mad. No, don't get mad. We're 49er fans. We should be used to these kind of things. Somehow it'll work out. We'll still win the NFC. Now you know I'm blowing smoke, right? <laughs> it's going to be a hard road to own the schedule. The Lions are pissed off. The Packers are pissed off. They think they should have beat us, and they probably should have. The Cardinals are of a concern. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's disrespect or what. I don't worry about the Rams and the Seahawks. Not yet. I don't know. I, maybe we should. Nah. <laughs> I'll see you Friday, fam. Thanks for the contributions. Always appreciate it. Hit, hey, don't forget to subscribe before you take off so we can find you when we have this much fun. <laughs> Hit like, please. <laughs> See you in a few days, fam. A great week. Niner! Oh,